Who won? Ben uh, Tagore. Oh, Burger okay, Ben Tagore. Oh, it's Okay. Okay. Hello, Internet. Hi. Come in now. Snow is falling gently from the sky. While you feel the wind biting your cheeks, this is too. This is too intense. <laughs> While you feel the wind biting your cheeks, the sun slowly sets behind you. There's a shuffling sound as two figures shovel dirt into a hole in the ground atop the freshly buried body of Ergen Wendt. The service was simple. A few dwarven prayers were spoken, a cask passed around for a communal drink in honor of the dead, and a closing word from a well-dressed figure who seemed to know Ergen well before his body finally was lowered into a grave before you. As you watch the dirt get thrown onto his casket, you can't help but reflect on your final and for some of you, your first gaze on his earthly form. When his casket lay open for mourners, you approached to pay your respects, but nothing could have warned you for the sight of this man. While he was clearly an old, grizzled dwarf, laying still in his box, he was startling to see. He resembled an ice sculpture, his eyes frozen shut, his hair but a mere form, almost as if it were just stuck on his cold body. He looked like he was sleeping, but he was curled on his side, mouth agape in a perpetual frozen snore. Snapping you from your memory is the voice of the man who gave the closing words. <clears throat> Thank you all for attending Ergen's service. And as you look around, you see uh, the rest of the funerary possession, procession has already departed back to town. Um, leaving the six of you and this man to stand uh, watch for the shovels. My name is Elro Alda Tower, and you now see this elven man approach you. His pale skin is um, kind of reflecting off the sunlight, and he has very dark, long hair that's pulled back into a really like tight braid. Elro, E L R O, Alda Tower, A L D A T A U R. I'm the elder leader here in Pale Bank Village. May I ask how you all knew Ergen? And he turns and faces Michael. Nick, would you like to explain what we all see? Kind of stand out. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you see a six foot five uh, <coughs> dragonborn in. <coughs> Uh, pale blue full plate armor um, with a small cape billowing from his back and uh, his skin is well his scales are sort of these like pale and in some places uh, opaque uh, amethyst gems what was your name again? I haven't said it yet. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay. Uh, what What did he ask me again? How did you all know Ergen? Yeah. How did you all come to know him? Well, I met him down south. Uh, he was on the trade route, and I saved him from a couple of young scrappy uh, bandits. Well, thank you for that. I'm sure he remembered you fondly. And you two? He turns and looks at the two of you. Would you like to describe what we all see? Um, you can go first. Yeah, <clears throat> um, so I'm wearing like a, I got like kind of like it looks like a robe underneath kind of like another robe, like a jacket sort of thing, and I'm wearing a couple of like wooden kind of like Japanese style sandals. Um, very obviously a cat folk individual. Let's, uh, just, let's just show them. Oh yeah, you yeah just we should show probably them. just show them. It's a lot easier. Yeah, I mean, it'd probably be better that way. I mean, it's easy if you just look at us. It's oh a lot. It's, it's much easier if you just take a look. I'm the one on the left. What in the yeah. Dr. Seuss's cat in the head is this? <laughs> <laughs> this is so this cool. This is Broadway cat. It's a little too horny, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know how we be. Anyway, ah, oh, you don't know that. Yet. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, he was. Uh, uh, what do you want to call it? Like you want to say a mother? How are we, how are we gonna, yeah. how are we gonna present this? He was he was kind of like a, an old drinking buddy of a um, uh, a teacher, teacher, mentor, oh. mama kind of, but not really. He yeah. was known to he was known to partake in, in the drinks for sure. Yeah. I now know so how hard. Bill Burr is involved. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, a you lot to say about uh, <laughs> my recipes. 
Oh. Yeah. Interesting. I learned a lot from that man. And you two? Oh, uh, go ahead. Uh, well, um, I, I really knew him through my family. Um, traders, my father. Tra- uh, my father was a trader, um, and like a betrayer, or like no, a, I'm sorry. A, 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 oh, like he. Okay. You might see him as a like like sort icon. of a dealer in specific wares. Uh, some that. Uh, Should be. Uh, he's. Mister uh, Ergen yeah. came into quite often. It was. Uh, it was actually his. F- <laughs> the first uh, trade deal that my father ever took me along was with the old Kadra, and um, well, he was a nice man, and we were in the area when we heard about it. So, what do you look like? Oh, other than um, that, yeah. So you see, uh, you see a, a, a very finely dressed. Uh, he actually probably put on a little bit like darker clothing for the occasion, um, but a very finely dressed human man, uh, uh, pale skin, golden eyes, dark, mm-hmm. almost blackish brown hair that forms into a full beard on his chin. And like well tailored hair, and adorning him is a half plate um, that is currently kind of covered in probably a little bit more like formal wear, like a little bit more billowy kind of blouse top, uh, just just for the occasion. But he does have like a fine pair of clothes that he keeps on him for exactly this occasion. Um, but it does take on like some blues and golds uh, in in hue uh, throughout it. And on his back, uh, one noticeable aspect: uh, he does not have a sword on him here. Uh, but on his back, you do still see uh, he has a very large shield. Mm-hmm. Um, that is a, a pointed kite shield that is somewhat out of view here, but that's okay. He's not showing it off right now. Gotcha. You both said male, correct? Yes. yes. Yeah. Um, I forgot to describe my character for the audio recording. Um, oh, yeah. He wears he wears semi low cut uh, like a like a deep V neck on his uh, robes, and uh, they sort of taper off into just flowy, wavy uh, strands as soon as they get around his uh, legs. Um, Over the top of that, he wears a leather jacket, and if anybody speaks Elvin, written across the back in Elvin is the word drunk. Um, (laughs) He he wears short athletic shorts underneath his robes and uh, wrappings around his legs, Uh, but along his ankles, you see on each ankle, ten... Uh, five each foot, uh, heavy metal rings that mm. are just sitting on his ankles. Um, and then I have one <coughs> pierced ear, and slung over my back is a tiny cask of alcohol in a net. Yeah. I guess to uh, elaborate just a little bit on Brago as well, um, Brago also has a, uh, a pierced ear um, on his back. He has a quiver and a bow. And <clears throat> conspicuously on the bow, the quiver, and the uh, shoulder, sort of like a um, shoulder pauldron and bracer. Um, it's a very kind of like a samurai sort of influence. Um, and on it, it's got like a script and some other inscription on it. Can we see what it says? Uh, I haven't finished writing right. that yet. <laughs> right now, no. I had to see right okay. now. <laughs> and what color your fur? Yeah. I am an yeah. all black cat, sort of. Backseat and Brigo's kind of like more like a lynx sort of. He's got kind of like some of that like uh, almost like a mutton chop kind of mm-hmm, look, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and he's got like a fluffier kind of tail. But he's but like he... a gray with like some blackish kind of stripes. Got it, got it, got it, got it. <clears throat> and I'm sorry, how did you know, Ergen? Oh, uh, she's my not husband. at all actually, but um, I just sort of hear more small support. Um, well, you see, oh, sorry. go ahead. You see a very, very pale, couldn't even make this pale on <laughs> Hero Forge, like grayish woman, um, very tall pointed ears peeking past her hair that goes down nearly to her knees, sort of white gray. Um, she's probably have her cloak pulled up a little bit more about her since you seem to be some sort of, it's cold as shit, but when you can see sort of all across from her shoulders, basically down to her wrists are just open, some open, some very closed scars, silvered to like, seem like just bandaged over. Um, she was wearing like a cute little red dress with a red cape, and where it looks like two bolts up front, they're actually, I couldn't do this, but they look like moons on mm. clasping her cape to her dress, and she's wearing kick-ass, tall, fuchsia and red leather boots, heeled boots, and she's got a book on her side. Mommy, sorry. 
<laughs> so you say she, it for the one woman. No, she no. Has, <laughs> she has, uh, you would notice, like, pretty glowing red eyes, and her teeth are a bit sharp. And she's a dampier. Ah. And she's a woman. And. Oh, I almost couldn't see her because he blended with the snow. Oh, yeah, I did that. Uh, nice. I'm sorry. Guys. One other quick visual Why'd motif. Why'd you have to make it so strong? Why'd you have to make it? One other quick visual motif of uh, of my guys. He has uh, he has on both his hands and his feet. He does not wear gloves or shoes. Uh, he has sandals on, and his feet are wrapped in a sort of like loose bandage. Uh, and same with his hands. He his hands are also kind of wrapped uh, just around like the hand. The fingers are exposed in like a in a in a in a what looks like maybe a bandage or a hand wrap of some kind. Her whole body actually looks like that. Look at those cool boots. Ah, oh, hell yeah. Girl boss. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. But yeah, Wait. I didn't know him well at all. Oh. I'm sorry, go ahead. I, I didn't at all, actually. Just everything Damien said on him was comfort for those who did. Well, here in Pelvin Village, we appreciate that kind of compassion. Thank you. And you? You look over. <laughs> oh my God. And it's wrong. You see oh. something that looks actually nothing like this. Oh. You see a, a, a well chiseled, sort of androgynous half elf figure with this kind of like tealish green hair, but it is disguised by a black veil that hangs over oh, their face. No. Um, a kind of black bonnet esque hat and just full like black robes. Um, and similar similar clothing to what you see here, they do have this sort of white scarf hanging on top of it that very much pops over the black, but nonetheless, it is a complete blackout from head to tail. And as they take tail? notice... Tail? So, from head to toe. <laughs> Go on. You never know. As they, as they take notice, um, you notice that they are holding a book in their hand um, that it has a, like leather embossed symbol of the moon kissing the sun mm. um, as they as they kind of turn and they say do not stand at my grave and weep I am not there I do not sleep I am a thousand winds that blow I am the diamond that glints in snow I am the sunlight on ripened grain the gentle autumn rain when you awaken in the morning's hush I am the swift, uplifting rush of quiet birds in circled flight. I am the soft stars that shine at night. Do not stand at my grave and cry. I am not there. I did not die. They'll put their hand down on the casket. Sleep well, sweet Gwenth. Gwenth. <clears throat> we'll perform a shekel. Yeah. Uh, that is a snap at the wrapping six, spot to try. Plus. Yeah, the, 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 the fuzz on the paw is really good. <laughs> By the way, there's two whole notes on my first uh, roll with the, the pads. Yeah, it's a little, little weird. I can't use text like that because I can't read them. 26. A very like, subtle tear falls from both of the shoveler's faces as they kind of bow and step back. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Apologies, the muse took me. No, I don't don't apologize. That was beautiful. I think she's well, thank you. Me. It was quite nice. I knew um, Master Gwenth. Gwenth. Ergen Gwenth. Gwenth. Ooh, it's a thick accent. <laughs> yeah. That, that burial ale was too strong. A little bit. It's good. Um, it's good. Kind of pulls the hair behind their face a little bit. Um, <laughs> well, he saved my life. Ah. He was one of the first faces I met coming to this. New land. I spent some time in Isle Cross and the lands that surround. And um, he saved my life. That's something I'll never forget. So I didn't know him long, but I like to think I knew him well. So you're a traveling type? Not of sorts. I've spent. Of sorts. I've spent. It's a long story. Perhaps for a different time. Yeah. Maybe I'll buy you a drink for it someday. Perhaps I'll let you. So, so we got, we got, save the dude, saved by the dude. 
family relations, family relations, and bonus, right? Is that the right note? Yeah, bonus is right. <clears throat> all right, okay, all right. That's great. Well, um, wonderful to have you. Welcome to Pelbent Village, if you haven't already been here. And I'm so sorry to speak of dark tidings under such circumstances, and he kind of, like, looks at the grave. Uh, but I believe that Pelbent Village might be in danger. Oh, and I'm hoping you can help us. Danger from what? Well, and he looks directly at the casket. I'm not sure you noticed his um, affliction, per se. Um, but I'm entrusting this to you because you seem like <coughs> the adventuring type, and, and you're here on the behalf of Ergen, and I appreciate that. But I don't know where you would get that. And I I the dragonborn standing next to me in full play. <laughs> <laughs> And then just sort of chuckle to myself. Well, forgive me for, <laughs> for assume, assuming anything. But, um... Bergen Wynn, he was an explorer, you see. And many of you know this. And a few months ago, he returned from an expedition. And everything seemed fine, uh, like he normally does. But then after only a few days, he came down with such a strange affliction that made him move very slowly and caused blue veins to appear all over his body. And the priests of the village used every spell that they could muster in an attempt to heal him, but nothing they could do could stop the bizarre malady. I'm sorry, if you had to name the illness. Well, locals in the area that have heard rumors and have seen it have been calling it just the frozen sick. Oh, much but, easier to rhyme. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, many of this the other people in the village call it the frigid woe. Oh, darling. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, but... he battled the affliction for weeks until his ever slowing body eventually turned to ice. <laughs> and until yesterday, I, as the elder of the town, did my best to make sure that this was an isolated incidence and was positive that it was. Um, until it wasn't? Until it wasn't. And I'm sure it was likely caused by something that he'd come into contact with while he was exploring Isocross. Hmm. And then a local, Tulgi Latan, T U L G I. L-U-T-A-N. Well, she started showing signs of the same illness, and I'm just, I'm worried about the integrity and the safety of my people. I tried to talk to Togi about it, but she pushed me away. She's very stubborn, <coughs> very hard-headed, and asked that I let her die in peace. So, Could you say I'm just a bit worried. Uh, L-U-T-A-N, Latan. Togi, Togi Latan. So, if you're willing, I... I've asked all the people I could. I'm well liked around here, but not by everybody, and Togi certainly wants to be left alone by the likes of me. So, I don't know. She's very distrustful of authorities, you see, and I am <laughs> the authority. Yeah. There's some glass blades in the village that, you know, I went to for help, but they're more known for their skill in combat than their ability to acquire knowledge. Yeah. Um, I'll pay you. We'll do it. Thank you. Yeah, we got time. If it is yeah. for the honor and memory of Master Wenth, I shall do... How much? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how, how much? A hundred points? I shall do it. Detachment is part of my training and all, but, you know, we gotta, we gotta fill our stomachs. Yeah, it's fucking cold, I'm gonna be Well, I, I can cover your, your stay and your, your food, your room and board here. That's the word I was looking for, your food and stay. Um, but in the end, you know, if we make some progress, I can send a hundred gold your way. It would really be helpful for the people of this village. We would be more than happy to send our help. Thank you. We're into... I appreciate it. Going to be in. Thank you. We got ourselves a little party. Wow, here. look at this. Isn't that crazy? A bunch of jackasses. 
I'm gonna go solve a fucking mystery. Yeah, <laughs> Well, um. <clears throat> it struck me! <clears throat> <laughs> this character is my favorite. I've been struck. I choose to believe you said that in character. <laughs> I did. If I could, please. Please. To I establish believe. this quest. Oh, please. One might say. This is going great. The frozen sick to love one's go. Where it comes from, we yet not know. A broken stick. A blackened crow, no darkened omen, than the frigid woe. Mm. There was a bird involved in the story? The, 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 bird, the, bird, the bird's an omen. The, the, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The, I'm terrible with no, the I, I'm all for, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm for notes. So, no, the, the broken stick, the blackened crow, no darker omen than the frigid woe. So the, the, the broken stick and the blackened crow are omens traditionally in literature, and then and then Excuse the frigid me, woe sir. is the darkest that, uh, What did you say? That we that, uh, I'll workshop it and I'll get back to you, sweet. Thank you. I, I liked it. I, I, I liked the dead. No, no, no. I don't, I don't need to be caught in the did you say that he was it coming back challenged. from uh, when he came back with this affliction? Um, it was two weeks prior, and he had been exploring Isopross for about a year, but his affliction started within a few days. So he was sick for a few weeks. Did he oh, go anywhere? Good. Did he come back from something specific? As Did he far as I know, it? he just spent most was of his time in, in his cabin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, I don't know. I don't know. I think so. We're standing two feet from the man. You, you see in the top right of your corner. Sweet I'm sure you will remember that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, All right. Uh, <laughs> if I could make a suggestion. Um, can we... Uh, you might have better information. Can we go into the town, maybe? Send a tavern? Yeah, let's find it. Just a couple of quick questions, Elro. Uh, what, which tavern? Oh, what, which which tavern are you putting us up in? Uh, the Blackened Boar. Blackened Boar. Thank you. Blackened and uh, you mentioned something about these glass blades. I haven't heard of them before. Yes. Um, give me one second to write down the inn name that I just improv. Blackened Boar. <laughs> that was really good. Yeah, that improv. I, I thought that was, that was real. Was good. Yeah. Thanks. That felt planned as fuck. <laughs> ah, tavern. I don't know why I slipped into that accent. It's okay. Um, I think I did a little southern. Oh wow! Yeah, I started doing southern fun. too. It's hard. It's so hard. what some would call infectious. It really <laughs> is. <clears throat> the only reason I'm not going to be slipping into it is I could do this accent all day. So no uh, problem. I've been Brian's practicing speaking to myself like accent. this in the car for months. <laughs> <laughs> Because he's not doing an accent. Right? He's just finally not doing his accent. There's, there's another <laughs> side of me that I've just been hiding. This is actual Brian. <laughs> nice to meet you, everybody. Yeah. Elro. Also, can we go around the room and do pronouns? Well, I was going. Uh, okay. I didn't actually need to do this in character. <laughs> <laughs> Although it's good to. I don't even have your names, but I'd like yeah. your pronouns. Yeah. Uh, it's so respectful. We're do both as we walk. It's, it's respectful. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I'm kind of a he him kind of fellow. I don't mind they, but it's, it's, it's a he. Oh, and your, and your name is. I'm I'm Brigo, B R E G O, like Brig. Good job. Brig- <laughs> <laughs> good job. <laughs> Say, I said good job. No, how do you spell it? B R E G O. Yeah, you're, you're the one who blew ass the spelling test. All right, Shit, I'm not the one who spelled my name Brigo <laughs> on the fucking door to wait, the temple. Okay. Wait, Brigo, how do you spell it? I think I'm him. B R E G. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Andre. Andre. Are you are you a she her type these days? You still he him? They them? Yeah, he they. I did. Oh, yeah, that's cool. You know. Yeah. Thank you for telling. I thought about these. You so? Yeah. yeah. Grash. <clears throat> Grash. Grash. There's, there's no, there's oh. no oh. universe that you have. Got a tooth stick in my mouth. It's all right. I can't uh, disagree with that. I thought this is part of the character. <laughs> I would love it if it was, to be honest. <laughs> Name, uh, name's Grash. Uh, pronouns he, him, his. Well, I'm a Rose Windring myself. You're a Rose? Mo Rose. Mo Rose. Common. Like, what, say, At, like this, like sadness. So morose or morose? M O R O S E. Okay. Morose. Morose Wendron. Um, I use she her pronouns exclusively, but won't be offended by any mishaps. My name is uh, Damien Markov. 
Um, and uh, Banger. I, he, him pronouns are fine. Pillion. And I am the Quiven Wind Song. Um, they, them, if you prefer. Wonderful. And I'm known to have a knack for it, but is that an elvish accent I hear? Um, yes, it is. I'm sorry, I I just don't notice the point of ears. Well, that's quite accurate. I was not born an elf, but I was I really born in Singorn. <laughs> yeah, not me <laughs> too. Well. I was I was born in the elvish city state of Singorn, raised there my whole life, so mm. ear does not lie to you. Quite lovely, and it really does. Oh, we don't think it's too about elves, don't we? Yeah. It's something. Yeah. It's something alright. We totally got What's the my accent? accent? <laughs> Hmm. My accent. Yeah, can you just do the right? Do you know what this says? Whatever it is, yeah, it's can, not quite of this world. Yeah, can, can I, you I read do. this? Do you know, what does it say? Uh, <laughs> drunkenness, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! And it's accurate. You know what I'm, I've been familiar with. <laughs> oh. I mean, again, yeah, you know, I've heard many cultures celebrate with libations. Yeah, also, uh, Andre <laughs> just pulls out a chalice and it's already full of <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> So, hold on, I'm just going to make sure I write this down. down. <laughs> His <laughs> ass. <laughs> Would you like to try it? I got Damien. Of course. Right I back got to Morose, I got Andre, cup. I got Brayo, and I got Crash. Thank you. That's my personal favorite. It's just Which is, oh. What? Is, what? I'm letting, he, he's, he wanted to try my alcohol. Oh, it is a very floral but uh, delicate rose cucumber wine. Rather delicate. I get hints of cucumber. You got a good palate. Not bad. You got a good palate. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty impressive. Wow, Elro. Sorry, go ahead. It's the best thing you've ever done. Choke the rest back and have come back. Okay. As Elro kind of expo- ex. Uh, walks you through um, the Pale Bank Village, um, you notice that this <coughs> Uthodernian, um like outpost kind of beyond the mountains that is full of um, mostly dwarves. There's lots of elves. There's a couple gnomes here and there. Um, just maybe a couple other scattered families of, of other races that you maybe notice on your way in. But because the sun has now set, it's pretty quiet. Um, this is a very cold place, so it's just getting colder and colder. You are very far north. Um, the people here often take to ice fishing, trapping, hunting. Um, those of you who maybe have a familiarity with, like, the trade routes know that this is a very big trading, like, ice fishing place. It's, like, a good trade stop area. Um, so small caravans, um, from Uthodern will sell their wares, they'll restock their supplies here. Sometimes... For those of you who are who know this area very well, sometimes territorial monsters wander a little close, um, and Elro maybe will kind of explain this. Um, so these rotating squads of these glass blade soldiers are assigned to protect the people. Mm. There's not a lot of them. Um, they do fight for the Uthodernian queen, whose name I don't have in front of me. Um, lately, he explains, Pale Bank has kind of become this launching point for northern explorations and expeditions. So there's kind of been this like growth in trade um, and a pressing need for more inns. So as you approach the blackened board, um, it's kind of, it's packed with people. And you will notice that the people in here are, there's lots of monster races here. You see quite a few bugbears, a couple hobgoblins, some goblins running around, maybe one or two dragonborns here or there. You don't see any tabaxis, um, but there are, other than the humanoid behind the bar, these are mostly monster races, which you didn't really see outside of the inn. Um, but this makes sense if you know the geography a little bit, um, because to the east, southeast, just a little bit, I mean, it's still north, but like to the southeast of where you are, um, is where a lot of these like monstrous races hail from and exist. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's maybe, is, if this is an expedition launching point, it's maybe not uncommon that these people are here. Maybe they don't live here permanently, but they're here to like get ready to go explore, or this is a stopping point before moving on somewhere else. Um, so he walks you in, and he immediately goes right up to the bar, and uh, how many rooms? Six rooms are, are sharing? Um, I can put we you can up. can share a room. Can, okay, uh, one, one if you'd like. two. I'll share a room with you. Okay. Two. All right. Oh, would you like your own? Get a chance to know each other. I would love it. Yes. Okay, three, three rooms it is. Um, each with two beds. Yeah. 
Sound good? Three beds, probably. Two beds is fine. Two beds. Okay, two beds is fine, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'm falling asleep yeah. out back anyway. <laughs> Two beds is fine. It's so good. Bed. No beds. No, no. We won't need it. We got a stool, we need a stool. I can just see him like do like very anime, just boom behind you. Two beds. 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 Can I help you with anything else for the evening? I could come back in the morning. I know it's, it's uh, getting a little late. Can we have a, a run of the bar for a little bit? What? I, I'll, I'll be right back. I'm just going to go hop. Are, are we in the tavern now? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm going to go uh, slide over the bar and start making oh drinks my. for all of us. Oh, no, no, no. Get out of here. <laughs> I drop gold on the counter. I'm How like, much? Five gold. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> With, with anything? <laughs> How about, no. Watch this, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to. They don't know, I know this hat. He's a professional. Yeah, he's a I'll, professional. I wanna, I wanna try to <laughs> impress them with my <laughs> skills. Okay. okay. Can I make a performance check to uh, make drinks in a flashy, fun way, like sure. a bartender? Sure. Trying to impress a bartender. Hip, hipster bar style. Like Eight. <laughs> Give me that drink. Let's uh, make him. I made. Well, okay. I was in the middle. Of making a milk stout for my brother. No milk here! No! Oh, no! What are you talking, oh, what the fuck are you talking about? You can get a drink, you can get a drink oh. about from behind my bar. Get off. Uh, I take my gold. Oh, 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 yes, I don't know where you hail from, but the people of Pelvic don't play with that. Do that. Sorry. Oh, I get it now. I, I'm sorry, you have to apologize for the mic. Yeah, well, you know. It's but no problem. I like your spunk. Gold goes a long way with. Most bartenders. Well, I, not shitty drinks. I, I don't usually I'll be drop back in the, the cup <laughs> in, in the middle. Oh, <laughs> yes. Maybe we get a table. <laughs> that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, you look Beautiful. around and it is packed full. There are no empties. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to go get a corner then. Yeah? There, you corner. see pro two corner. empty bar stools not sitting next to each other. And then a table. All these tables are filled with like monster races and, and people yeah. chatting, playing cards. Uh, there's like one person in the corner, like asleep at a guitar, like he maybe was gonna play, or maybe did already. Um, uh, you do see a group of people in the corner, two goblins, a hobgoblin, and a bugbear, and they're just joking around, and they are seemingly getting ready to like get up. I am going to go change into something more comfortable. Don't have too much fun without me. I'm and gonna I'm go going hover. To run to my room real quick and change. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go stand by the, and like open a book and sort of lean against the- Against the wall. Fuck that just scared the shit out of me. Nothing gets your blood pumping. And uh, just pull out my book and just start writing and just sort of like. <clears throat> Can we help you? One of the goblins kind of looks over. How far oh. are you? Oh, I'm uncomfortably right there. close. <laughs> Can we help you, Tuts? No, thank you. And they kind of look at each other. They're like. What you writing? Mm-hmm. You're writing? What are you writing? Oh, uh, I do that. But what am I writing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh uh, I'm sort of working on something um, of the arcane nature. Have How interested are you in uh, what lies beneath the surface of all of us? The bugbear kind of pushes his chair out dramatically. I'm not really, drunk enough to enjoy that. And they're I like, could really to get in the, See a doctor. I'll slide right into one of the important. chairs. I'll be like, hey, that was, yeah, good. I got us a table, that was a good move. Come on. That was a good move. Uh, yeah, if people really don't like it, you start talking about There's a table that sits for. Bodily oh, okay. magics. Watch it, well. Watching her do that, I'm going to go to the bar and say, um, um, six of whatever your favorite is. Uh, and I'll put two gold on the table and slide it across. And well, you already gave him five for what? No, no I took, it took it back. Oh, okay. they, 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 they didn't let me finish making my drinks. They made a mess and ran away. <laughs> All right. Um, it's what we do. Let's see. See, in some cities, it just works. And it it just works, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Frost so mead coming right up. They didn't recognize it's the um, control. And, it's and you see yeah, yeah, him yeah, 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 real yeah. quickly we don't ship down here. make a <laughs> line of <laughs> shots. Mm-hmm. Um, he slides the, the plate forward with all the shots on it, and you see there's just like a little crackling blue sparkle in it. Um, 
And he goes, honey, and my secret ingredient, which is the tear of an ice giant. And he like winks and pushes him forward. All right. Um, I presume that will cover it, but you'll correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, that'll cover it. Thank you. Keep anything else. And, awesome. uh, have a good enough. And I will uh, scoop up this uh, flight of six drinks uh, and... Over here, Damien. And I will bring them over and set them down. As, as you're walking up, I'm already, like, <clears throat> pulling out, like, ingredients and tools, and I'm, like, shaking my own drink. Sure. <laughs> oh, okay. I set, them, I set them down and say, I got one for everyone, but um, ah. we can double up if you want. Where did the... Where did... An appetizer. He's getting into costume. Uh, Andre, you um, suddenly feel this biting cold in your chest, like the opposite of what alcohol usually does. And you, as you exhale, you have this like jet of icy breath. Like, this is what it feels like to chew five gobs. <laughs> Frost giant tears. That was pretty good. Oh, that was right. quite impressive. Well, um, uh, drink up first round is on me. Um, I looks like we're going to be working together. At least yeah. for a little while, I this guess. Is very exciting stuff. Yeah. Well, always good to start a new relationship oh. on good terms. I think. Uh, I'll set this one aside for the half elf. Oh, uh, oh what's all the nose here? Rose, oh. you interested? Yeah. yeah. You know how uh, alcohol yeah. like sure. burns your nose here? This yeah. makes them grow. Oh, it's crispy in there. Yeah, it's oh. getting like cloudy. Suddenly, from the corner of the uh, room. A guitar string <laughs> sound yeah. effect. Yeah. Trying to, <laughs> trying to stop it. There we go. And everybody turns to look at attention, and the bar falls purely silent. <laughs> you turn and you see what the image. <laughs> what image? Just Quiven. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, you turn and you see now Quiven Windsong dressed in almost exactly this. They've got this um, leather hat with the, this just kind of. Really wide brim with on the it. Pirate with the there's feather. a stark white feather pu- um, peering out of it <laughs> that perfectly matches this white um, scarf that they wear. Blues and greens drapes down their robes with these leather <laughs> accents through it. And on their belt buckle is this large, gleaming golden symbol that, in the right light, faintly looks like a skull. And in their hand, they hold this just old looking Saturn. And they just strum it like you'd never heard before. Um, it has this deep kind of reverberating sound. And they say, Ladies and gentlemen, tip your waiters, tip your waitresses. Most importantly, tip your entertainment. And they're just going to start playing. <laughs> um, just the, Not singing, they're just playing the, uh, the Saturn, um, a real like self-accompaniment kind of thing. It's got this nice, nice kind of like low um, feel to it, but it plays its own melody underneath it, if you've ever seen those guitarists that can do both at the same time. Um, oh, I like, like this one. one. Man, well, I, <laughs> I need to buy that guy a drink. I like this one. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and notably, they're sitting right next to the guitarist that was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I'll pick his drink up and bring it over to him. What are you bringing over? I'll bring his drink over oh, to okay. him. Oh, okay. There. There. As soon as you stand I thought it was he thing. No, it's they, 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 they. As soon as you stand oh, up, I, I say, I you read my mind. And, and I yeah. just watch you bring it over there. In your mind, you hear, I did. Whoa. Like that. Oh, wait, I didn't hear that. I mean, <laughs> what? What? There's like a, like a small squint, and then just like a shake in my head, like, I his, didn't uh, hear that right. Like, <laughs> his clear eyelid winks at you. Ooh. Clear eyelid. Oh, yeah. The whole. I, uh, oh. I shoot my Do drink they down like and yeah. turn it yeah. over on the table. Yes. Well then, uh, well, so while Mental. they're all while they're all up and it's the four of us at the table, yeah. I'm just gonna kind of yeah. like lean in, put my arms on the table, and say, "So, where are you gentlemen from?" Temple, Temple Beck in uh, I can't remember the fucking yeah, I can't remember the name of the city. Sure, yeah, I've been there. Uh, yeah. Uh, mm, no, the, oh, the one where yeah, yeah. yeah fuck, I, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, we're from a temple um, down. I think like south southwest of here. Oh, really? Have you ever heard of uh, Balinhan Temple? Yeah. Have you? Oh, yeah. I'm at a loss. <laughs> my bed, but it sounds Bellinghan. like a beautiful place. <sighs> not as well traveled as I'd like to be, and not yeah. as well studied as I'd like to be either. It's, it's exactly both. touristy. Not really. It's a bit out of the way. Yeah. Working on both. Yeah. 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 We uh, we like to. Uh, mm-hmm. 
cooperate with other temples oh, in order yeah. to um, help bring about more happiness. So this is a religious organization? No, we make alcohol. I mean, it's kind of religious, but like not that... Uh, like, but, but like, you know, you know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's as religious what? as anyone else. So not a temple to any... Well, that's a broad statement I've known yeah. to pretty religious folk. I've also known to pretty religious folk. Like, like a more bounder filet, kind of, you know, yeah. it's like religious but not... Right, know, right, yeah, 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 yeah. This guy is speaking the truth. Of course, right. Um, uh, Real quick. Yeah. Uh, so out, it's out of, out of characters for two seconds. Bal and Han, um, I just made some rolls with the GM. Can you tell me a little bit about where in like what the general area that comes from? Yeah, it is up north, next to the border, on the right side of it. Okay. Um, it is on the border of what? Jorhas. The border between Jorhas. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like okay. The who? Um, it is slightly into the mountains, but like toward the base, okay. not up in the mountains, but like next to the mountains, mm-hmm. um, and it is pretty, uh, like, grassy, if not just a little snowy because of the mm-hmm. distance to the mountains, but it's pretty, uh, very pretty. Okay, yeah, so um, as you guys are having this conversation, you hear Quiven sort of shift into this sort of a little bit more melodic piece mm-hmm. that the two of you key in on almost immediately because it is a common ballad from your area that tells the story of these um, these monks that lived in that mountain and could oversee the border between Jorhas and uh, the Dwendalian Empire and told of them just being watching the horrors at this uh, um, at this border and this uh, this this d- dueling between nations. It's a very old song, but you've definitely heard it many times. And they just shift into it seamlessly out of whatever they were playing before. So continue. That was impressive. Yeah. Right then, so it's, yeah, they, it's oh, nothing uh, particularly religious or to, to any uh, particular uh, deity. But you know, there's is, uh, some there's some who take fancy in that sort of thing, but yeah. uh, you know, it's not really our our bag of tea. Mm-hmm. If you catch my drift, mm-hmm. way of life, not so much divine, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Certainly respect for those who <clears throat> right. yeah. I mean, are and so you are, uh, this song is amazing at this point. I sit back down on the table. So you are, it's been a long time yeah. since I've heard this. Yeah, yeah, it's good to be back. You don't hear this very often outside of the temple. Yeah, throw yeah. back. Yeah. So you are a craftsman, the two of you. Yeah. Ah, well, some more than others. You're a craftsman. What are you talking about? All right. Talking about you, as well. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, so I, I do like wood shit. I do like shit it's wood. It's a mighty fine work you seem to be doing. Not that he, they uh, seem to appreciate it, but... He didn't make this, but uh, he helped create the... Uh, uh, I'm holding now a small, like, one to one and a half foot long keg. And I'm like, he, oh. he, he shaped it a little bit for me. Um, That's very nice. Something. Yeah, he wasn't able to do any of the cool stuff like this, and I just open it, and it starts pouring into a cup, and then I pour it into another cup, and then I pour it into another oh. cup, and then I tilt it up so it shouldn't be pouring, and it's still pouring out. Oh. <laughs> and then I turn it upside down, it starts fountaining out a little bit, and then I'm like, yeah. It's very, uh, full. You, uh, put the incantation on this object? Oh, no, I didn't do that. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we had, uh, we had some, some monks down in the temple. They, uh, yeah. cool. it was a gift. That's amazing work. Yeah, it's a fine gift. Are you first in the arcade? Yeah. Yes, I am. <laughs> What'd you say? Are you first in the arcane? Got it. Yes. Well, uh, not like that, though. Specifically, not that, actually. That's no, no. why I was very interested, but... Not an enchanted one. No. Uh, no. Can't make... I don't think so. I never tried. But I guess, if I had to... Would you like to wait? hold this and see if anything happens? Happy enough. Ooh. Um, I think for me to do anything to this, I'd have to do something that you wouldn't want me to. So... Well, I mean, you can drink right out of it. I do it all the time. No, nope, I'd have to add something. And oh. I don't think you're in the well, mixing. Uh, well, I don't, I know, if, I don't know if you have the experience in order to do something like this, yeah, so... Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> you gave it to me. Um, do you have insight check? <laughs> yeah, I don't know about... What are you inside <laughs> that that odd statement? <laughs> what, that I'd have to add something? Add something that he wouldn't like? Where <laughs> 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 What's your inside? Uh, 14. 
Yeah, you'll never. I'll never let Are you. Are you trying to guess what it is? Basic spell component. That's gross. <laughs> okay. It's hard to know. You do, you do know that some fire spells require bat gold. You can make. Yeah. You can make it I, I just kind of really want. It. <laughs> <laughs> just dry heave a little bit. <laughs> but yes, I I do. Um, I've studied the arcane, sort of working on it currently. Well, oh. it's it's an interesting wheelhouse. Is, um, yeah, it's actually sort of. Everything, really, if you think about it. Ah, uh, not everything. Would you just? Would you uh, just? I just point to my raiments. Uh, it's like a priest's robes. So. Oh. so, we were just actually speaking on religion. Uh, you, you purport yourself to be a religious type. I'm a, I'm a servant of the light bringer. Hmm. Servant of the light bringer. Tom, the light bringer. Uh, Saren Ray. Saren Ray, the light bringer. Oh, that is. I think I got that right. <laughs> that is beautiful. I, I, I've heard of her lightliness, but I haven't um, encountered it myself. But that is wonderful. But you wouldn't say she's arcane in nature? Her words? It's okay well, if you well, answer no. I, well, I'm honestly well, curious. Well, they are very similar to the arcane. They, they, are, uh, they are more divine in nature. Are you from a temple as well, then? Uh, I assume uh, some sort of um, church or something that's... While you're having this discussion, you hear, like, a quick modulation of the ballad. It goes up, like, two half steps, and then, like, seamlessly transitions into a common Saren Ray in him. I, I go on. <laughs> or, sorry, a... A, 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 a Saturn cover of a common Saren yeah. Ray. Yeah. <laughs> um... From where I hail, I, uh, I, I, di- I did practice a religion, but no, I, I, I recently came to uh, this creed. I'm sorry, to where? To, uh, to, uh, <clears throat> to this place? Uh, yes, to, to this place. Uh, I, I was, I was, uh, just uh, uh, I, I came directly here from the City of Beasts. Oh, okay. So, so both of you then from Jorhas. From the Yeah, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Most recently. Ah, I understand. Uh, us too, actually. Most recently mm-hmm. from Jorhas, we docked in sort of the place. docked in sort of the northern portion of Jorhas and made our way up once we heard about uh, the fate of our poor friend. Yeah. Uh, you said docked like you arrived uh, here. Yes, uh, sailed over here from actually quite far away. Mm-hmm. The two of us find our home in Taldori, um, northern part of Taldori, a cliff keep mountains. I doubt that means Very anything. Very far away. Never How long have you guys been here? How long have we been on this continent? Yeah. Oh, a few months. months? So? Well, if you welcome want. to Jorhas. Oh, thank oh. you. Uh, it's uh, I'd say it's a warm welcome, but <laughs> that's fucking, that's fucking that's frigid. frigid. That's <laughs> fucking as, soon as, as soon as Andre says that, he finishes his drink, and as he does, the tiny dot in the middle of his forehead, and now you see, uh, similarly to you, claw, but like not like scars, but like scratch marks all on his legs start to get a warm, subtle, golden glow. Mm. Right here and right all on his legs. That's fine. It's more hereditary. If you want to look at the map, this is where you are. Gotcha. Uh, (laughs) That little dot. Oh, it's night. It's like, uh, so, so, it's It's like pretty obvious, right? Yeah. (laughs) So, like Napa. glowing gold in front of a temple, you're sure you're not a priest? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just drunk. <laughs> oh, is, oh, are, uh, Jack, uh, yeah. Are, are, are you, are you drunk? drunk? I don't know where yeah. Right. So uh, Have you never been drunk here. before? Like, ever? What is this? Like, not once? Hold my hand. I uh, spend five points of lay on hand, and he is sober. A few minutes, I'll probably get there right now. <laughs> well, I get to have fun all over again. I grab another drink, and I just start drinking. <laughs> what? Did you try these little frosty things? Yes. They're really good. Well, that was amazing. I don't know what Why that trick was, but I'll, I'll I want to keep you around. <laughs> okay. As soon as you do that, and the I, light, like... <laughs> and I will slide you the drink, the, the, the extra drink that we were still at the table uh, that, wasn't, that was not drink yet. Um, and then I will <coughs> see if I can't uh, catch the eye of the bartender. Sure, easily enough. Um, uh, or uh, someone walking around. Sure, if and, there's maybe like and, one person. And around. just kind of flag them for, and then point like another around. flight. Yeah. Sure, they bring it to you. So I'll same, give, same. I'll, yeah, I'll okay. give them a couple of gold pieces as well to cover mm-hmm. it. Awesome. 
bring me uh, a couple of things, and I just start listing off like four or five ingredients. Like what? Like um, so, Sim- I, I simple need simple syrup, like bitters, sour. right, right, sours. Yes, yes. And I need uh, like rose petals if you have any. That would I mean just if you had the extra. I've got know. those. Gone. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I'll look in the back. Thank you so much. And I, I'll, I'll yeah. toss my gold. Well, hold on. Good. And then I just like yeah, chuck like four silver at you from a crazy. Nice. <laughs> no, who's like, I'm tipping him. I'm tipping the. You're no, throwing shit at him. Yeah, because I, I can hit him. <laughs> Listen. Yeah, see, look. One. <laughs> two. <laughs> <laughs> the bartender comes back a few minutes later. Your accuracy is second to none. Yeah, okay. it is. Exactly. That doesn't accuracy. mean you got to show it off. Okay. 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 I did notice the uh, the bow on your back. It seems of quite fine make. Is that Elvish? It is, yeah. It's nothing too special. They, uh, you know, it's kind of standard issue, but, yeah. um, yeah, it's, I'm probably not going to get rid of it anytime soon. I mean, they broke the boots. I, I, I pull, like, from under, like, the large kind of coat I was wearing, uh, out a, a short blade, um, that is clearly Elvish. As I Elvish makes the best in the world. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. And this guy here is too big. <laughs> <laughs> and he kind of, like, pats on the, uh, the I'm sure lots of cultures. <laughs> I, uh, oh. oh, no. I'm sorry. I knock on my armor and I say, I like dwarven. Mm. <clears throat> hey, dwarves, dwarves, they do. dwarves know metal. That they do. That they, they do. do. And Uthodon finds its population to sort of appreciate both equally, that would seem, so makes sense, but... Uh, would... Damien! Singorn, you said! Yes. Right. And he's going to pick up into his Singornian, uh, just like a real, real upbeat, but classic Singornian Elvish music. Oh, I thought this was just a happy accident this yeah, whole no. time. No. He, is, he is really good he's at what he does. See, now you see why I'm throwing shit at him. Uh, Damien. Yes, but then... Uh, well, you got to get in on it. Then he throw money at him, and, and then he goes us. I walk over to Quimmin, and I tip him a single copper. Oh. I walk back. It's been what? I bet I can bend down the fold of his hat. Watch this. <laughs> you can't. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that... I can do it before you do. Sounds, uh... Um... Are you ready? Here we go. Like... <laughs> We're trying to, like, get coins to sit in the brim. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds just like the Tom game. We're back right, home, yep, actually. There we go. That helps. That helps. <laughs> <laughs> also, notably, I know this was kind I of... I got a good answer, I guess. You get 15 silver for, me for this bullshit. Um, um, notably, and this was my own fault because we were going to start <clears throat> not with this adventure. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think, because I get all the continents confused. I don't think we're in Isle Cross right now. We're in Uthador. Correct. Yep. Okay. We're on the, there you go. Yeah. Well, we're on the we're on the northernmost part of Wild Mount, which is Uthador. Yes, you're in, you're by the Grain Wild Mount. Wild Mount yes. is our yeah. continent, and then our country is Uthador. Yeah. Okay. Oh, starting with gold. Yes. Oh, but yeah. You're not yeah, in yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. We are not in. No, we're not in Jorhas, and we're not in Nice Cross. Right. We're in Uthadur. Do we? Yes. Just wanted to make that clear yeah. because I know you start with that I mentioned. You get more gold to choose your deal. Netherdeep would yes. start in Jorhas. We are. That is not where we are. We are in Uthadur. No, I don't think so. Okay. We're close to the border, but right. just to be clear. Okay. Well, um, I will always and and have quite often given. Uh, Dwarven steel its merit, but uh, I would bid Elven steel against it any day, particularly in a commerce market. And I will pull the uh, the shield off of my back and sort of lean it on the table, and it is it is beautiful. It has a a a like a well polished shine to it. It has got a slight um, hint of color, like a bluish color in the metal itself. Um, it is very clearly el- like enchanted Elvish steel. Uh, or mithril, okay. um, and yeah, that's it, what this stuff's is, made out of. it is embossed with a symbol that looks like that. Ooh. Oh hell a, yeah! A four-point star with four circles, equidistant set around it, and a solid gem set in the middle. Mm-hmm. If you look closely, the insets of those four circles and the center are actually a shining gem of some kind, like a very hard stone, mm-hmm. uh, probably diamond, if not uh, something diamond-like. Like oh, it is, sick. it is a a gaudy shield. Oh yeah, almost. Yeah. Um, yeah, you get, like to make a statement. <clears throat> I like it. I like it. You know, no, I will say, nice thing about elven stuff. It's nice and lightweight. The dwarven's a little heavier, but like it, it, it holds up. It holds. It, it, it fucking. Yeah. Turn, turn, you know what I'm saying? Dwarves, <laughs> dwarves' problem 
is that if a sword is being swung at them, yeah. their first <laughs> their first goal is to put three feet of metal between them and yeah, that sword. Yeah, yeah. That's, That's just too much. Together. It's big. It's yeah. Big. Wow. It's all about being able to uh, move in your armor. Uh, I'll take my adamantine any day. <laughs> a respectable metal. Absolutely. <laughs> I dig it. Fair enough. You hear a voice call from the bar. Uh, closing time in a few minutes. It's tired. Two more rounds. Ready? No. Okay. <laughs> is that is that is that Johansian for bedtime? What does that mean for yes. us? I'm not sure. Uh, and actually, now at this point, everybody in the bar who starts uh, walking out starts to join you. No time. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Uh, and he, he goes very obvious. He doesn't know the words. <laughs> for, for you two, what closing time probably means is it's when we. Take the ale upstairs and finish it there. Oh, okay, I did that. I did that. Upstairs. Also, uh, that's where I'll be headed. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I, uh, are we, we, we staying up too? Are we going to... I don't know. I was, I was going to just follow the whole fucking... I don't know who's got it. I'm stupid. Hey, DM. Do I get ingredients I from the waitress? Um, they bring back a stick of cinnamon. <laughs> nice. Not bad, not bad. A glass of vodka, <laughs> and that's it. Awesome. Okay. This oh. is perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank Please you so and Don, much. you mind come and join us real quick? We're making a plan for the morning. Not free liquor. At all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I will be here. Not a clue. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, uh, throw theirs to turn over their shoulder and let it hang off their back and kind of strut on over and lean onto the table. So. Plan. We're making oh, plans. I still don't know way. you. I just did his voice. <laughs> um, they'll take the, the Saturn off and lean it on the table. I sit on down and, spell and, that and like Saturn. I've never C I T E R N. Cool shit. I don't even know your fucking name, C-I-T-E-R-N. and you're already my favorite. T T E R N. Fantasy T-T-E-R-N. guitar. Apologies. Right. Fantasy guitar. Yes, you're right. I see it. I see it. Yes. Um, it's Quiven Winslow. I'm sorry. I thought I said. It is very nice to meet you. Nice to be met. Um. But no, please. I was just going to, I crashed literally, just went to bed, and I was hoping to make oh. a plan before he did that. Crash hey, back. crash! It's okay. Come we're here, we're all quick! so many people oh, sleeping that's, upstairs. That's not horribly necessary. Oh, yeah, that's um, not normal for you guys. He does that. Quiven's going to Quiven's gonna pick back up yeah. this a turn and just play two short notes. And they're going to think a song to you. That's just, uh, crash. Come back oh. downstairs, please. Is he within 30 feet of me? Uh, I would say that they've cast the spell. And I send a message yeah. to you. Okay. Um, and you just hear in your head, I'm coming. All right, he's coming. Okay. I bet. He, he probably heard me. Well, yeah. while Crash is walking downstairs, <laughs> I'll relay to you on yeah, the small, you, small Crash, talk. The Crash message responds. can actually get to you. Crash like, responds <laughs> to Quiven by, yeah, I heard. <laughs> yeah, no. Screaming. Ah, there he is! I told you. Hey, good job. What did I say? Hey, you know, do you know the silence spell by any chance? That oh, was my last wow. character that no one seemed to appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> so I did not take it this character. <laughs> Unfortunately, not in my about? real house. Huh? Uh, 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 it, it's a classmate of mine to do that spell, and everyone hated that him for it. That is canon. <laughs> yeah, well, that is true, but and everyone hated him for it, so... Sort of like a fun class prank, though, to cast it on the teacher and then just wait and t- see if they notice. Yeah. That's fun. Like we, that. we pulled a couple pranks on our teachers, too, except we would get, like, hit. Oh, my God. <laughs> on that note, uh, it's like training. Should we all yeah. meet down yeah. here for breakfast yeah. and maybe um, see if we can't find that Elrold fellow and... Um, Figure out where we're going to go from there. Oh, that is yeah. Elrond. Um, I know. <laughs> He's got a crazy religion <laughs> here. Um, I, I, I think if we are to speak with Tolgi, it's best we involve Elro uh, as minimally as possible. Right. I agree but with that. I still don't know whether Tolgi lives or frequents. Yeah. Maybe or we could probably just ask someone here. Did uh? All did right. you? Did Ergen live with anybody? Like, uh, like is it, was it contagious? Ergen was I told? Yeah. <laughs> not that I'm uh, and not that we're aware of, but he said he wanted For to. For those of you who knew so Argan, uh, some of you better than others, he didn't live with anybody. He okay. Much. Well, he didn't have much of a family to speak of, not that I remember. Uh, he did travel with a few, yeah. but I imagine that they were just 
Yeah, his. Yeah, notably he would travel with a different group usually every right. expedition. Huh. So perhaps told me someone he probably left. Maybe it was something ingested. Uh, maybe yeah, because I was thinking like it did, doesn't seem like it was contagious. Otherwise, someone would have picked it up, right? Yeah. Well, someone well, told yes. told he did. Told they. Yeah, but they, were they connected at all? Like, what they they both live in this town. Yeah. Right, right, right. You gotta like, think, though, if, if it was like yet. an That's illness. Okay, got it, got it. Kind of they, they've called it an illness so right. far. Right, but if it was like contagious, like an illness, it would probably have spread to more than just one other person. Yeah. Well, this well, actually entirely depends on how it's spread. That's why I said the ingestion part, because right. not everything's airborne. Right, yeah. that's why this leads me to believe that Perhaps there is some kind of common string between these two they characters. They could have been lovers. I mean, Maybe. we'll have to find out. Perhaps it's a curse. Maybe he found something he wasn't supposed what a to. Job. Could be. <laughs> they were fucking, probably. <laughs> this is an STD, actually. I've seen that. 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 i have seen that 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 i have seen Okay. History checks all around the I table. Like everybody to roll okay. First rolls, first rolls. Bro, I'm getting historical up in this. Oh, bitch, roll. I'm so historical. Oh, I am trained in history. Oh, 23, oh, bitch. Sassy bitch. Okay. 16 <laughs> plus. <laughs> two, right? Yeah, 12. Two. You need to roll. Okay, so 12, yeah, yeah, yeah. a natural 20. Okay. And then a 19. 23. What was your total, uh, Andre? A total of uh, 20. Hmm. Not very intelligent. 24. Okay, Andre. Bards. <laughs> Bards do be doing that. Bards just no shit. Um, Bards hold on, I know I just shit. had this page Kind of proficient in everything there, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kind of like a jack of all trades or something. <laughs> so, oh, so let me, let me somewhat so say. Is there Andre, you know fridge? you've heard it somewhere. Andre. You're just not sure where. I got gotcha. you. Quiven, you recognize this, and you could say this out loud if you want to or not. Um, actually, I'll just whisper to you, and you can choose if you want to say that. Okay, Drake. Mm. Whisper. Whisper, whisper, whisper. First whisper of the campaign. Whisper, First whisper, 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 whisper. This whisper is brought to you by uh, Dwarven Forge. Budweiser um, and Mountain Dew. Please, send us more products. Always mix them, but never do that. Did you hit me with a Mountain Brew, please? No. <laughs> Cannon. We're, gonna, we're mixing Cannon. these now. We're mixing. <laughs> that's all. That's, all that's what y'all's beer is called, Mountain Dew. It's not Budweiser, oh. it's Palweiser. Is that hard Mountain Dew out yet? Yeah, well, I want to try that. Some, I haven't some gotten to have it yet. I haven't either. I want to. We should get that for next session. Oh, can I get a beer while you're grabbing stuff? Ah, oh, shit. Sorry. Well, after you're done grabbing stuff. Uh, look, you played a brewmaster. You are gonna yeah. be the drink guy yeah, this campaign. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's cool. Cool. We might want to trade. Actually, yeah, okay. we might want to trade spots. <laughs> oh, brewmaster Andre here for your service. Service. I need another drink. Are you all in one room right now? I imagine we're making our so walking up the stairway yes. up there. Anyway, Pickle. shall we meet Dick back down here before. tomorrow morning and keep continue to discuss whatever it is that we plan to do? That seems responsible. It was lovely meeting y'all, just so you know. I know we met on, at a funeral. I've never met anyone at a funeral before, but it's good nonetheless. Yeah, you've never know. really been to a funeral like that, like a traditional. Yeah, yeah it's that <coughs> fucking cold. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. It's very cold here. Yeah. I'm wearing literally no pants. Yeah, Let's go to bed. Barely, yeah. yeah. Have, have any of you ever heard of Aeor? Aeor? No. Aeor what? No. Aeor B? Uh, <laughs> unless it's explicitly in your backstory, you can roll a history check. Um, <laughs> is there, isn't there a, a uh, Drink! tale of a sad donkey <laughs> named Aeor? Ooh. Dr. Mel, yes, that but would be a... That'll be a twenty. Eeyore. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, composite twenty. Cannon, cannon, cannon. Uh, um, there's brain. I got a natural drink. Natural one. Natural drink. Um, I would say that what you know of Aor is very limited. Mm, okay. You know that it was once a floating city in the sky. Mm. That's mm. about it. Yeah, it was a sky city, right? Yeah. 
No. Really? What was it? I can't remember. I don't know. <laughs> you just said I words, and then I, I assumed you were just not city? lying to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The old, old shit. Like very good. It is a sky city. It was no. a sky city. Got it again. Um, it is now a wreckage of ruins, mm. deep with an ice of course. I've seen these ruins before. Yeah. Like I said, I, I, I've explored ice of course. It's, it's how I met Master Wenth. Mm-hmm. And if he was as close to the ruins as he was when he found me, there's a potentiality that there's credit to your curse theory here. I was repeating you, but I appreciate yourself giving the credit. <laughs> there's many latent magic in the ruins of Eor. There's mm. certainly things that he could have contracted there, arcanically speaking, something that I think you may be able to sleep on and think about it in the morning, but you think this place if we get no other leads, it may be a decent place to start. Well, mm. Toby is probably the best place to start, but... I think mm. our first mm. mission when we gather in the morning is to eat breakfast, and then from there, we figure out who we're talking to, because we're going to be gathering information. Yeah, yeah, bro. Mm. I hope everyone hmm. has a wonderful sleep. All right, then, yes. Um, hope warm blankets and all that. Gentlemen. I am full of liquor. I'll be plenty warm. Hey, we'll and hopefully we'll no hangover in the morning. You know, liquor doesn't actually... Oh, I fixed that a long time ago. Thank you. It thins your blood, actually. Makes <laughs> Never mind. Have a night, dealer. <laughs> oh, good question. Good. So are those magic sicknesses common? Because that's just that's scary. Well, I don't know. Oh. But... I, I do, and the answer's very much yes. Ah. So, <laughs> so you just wash your hands? You just wash your hands, right? You like you just okay. wash. Hey, no, you don't wash your hands. How do I? <laughs> 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 I can start. <laughs> yeah, exactly. See, they get it. They get uh, it. They get it. They get it. <laughs> Let's just say we might. Have yeah. A, if that's the case, we might actually be in luck for once. But Bra- Brago's like chewing on like a clock. Yeah, <laughs> in luck. Well, well not in you give me bad, 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 bad. Now it's in your mouth. Say that the healer. I just want you to. I just want you to know. Oh, that's good. Now it. Now it's in your mouth. I just. Oh no. Um, <laughs> also, I need you to feel strong as shit. You can't rip this so thing. Uh, <laughs> I just crushed like, the no, cinnamon just, stick into the vodka. So really there we go. Really if hard. this thing is a disease, <laughs> it, 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 it won't be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> it, it won't be a problem. If, if, it, if it's a typical it disease, like, it won't be a problem like, for us. Oh uh, well, that's good. The, the, the way to have some um, the way I made him sober. Uh, you made him sober. I won't, I, won't, I, won't, I won't do it again. But I appreciate that. The, the way I made him sober, I, I could also, like, uh, cure someone being poisoned or diseased. Mm. So I don't that have to wash my hands. Is what you say. If you're all worried about it, <laughs> if any of oh, you are at all worried about it, um, cool. just because I can doesn't mean I will every day. <laughs> that makes sense and I respect that. I suppose that. I should <laughs> say my songs and words have been known to be so soothing that they can cure common diseases. I, I will say, if any of you are at all worried about it when we go to speak to this woman, um, I have a pretty strong metabolism. I wouldn't mind oh. being the one oh, to... With the hand wash. Um, I don't want to educate you on We're all of you with diseases. It's our team man. It's our team man. We're the hand washers. I don't know the... I'm sorry. I try to sound like I know what I'm talking about, but she's the brains of the operation. Yeah, well, thank God you have to but... Alright, well, on, <laughs> on that note, um, gentlemen, I uh, bid you good night and I uh, will see you in the morning. Uh, I'm going to make my way up to the room and <gasps> fumble around for the key. Uh, I could use a mm. nap. What, what? I was just saying good night. Oh, good night. Good night. <laughs> Yeah, the... uh, what's I need to know what's happening in this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, so, so I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna walk into the room and just look at Crash. And just... <laughs> Crash is just going to uh, look at the rooms and uh, go as expected, and then I'll uh, take one of the beds and I'll push it up against the other. Okay. Just, That's yeah. like two full beds. So I'll push it up against the other. Okay. Are you taking both beds? <laughs> <laughs> and then, then. <laughs> Keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't stop, keep going. I want to hear what you have to say. <laughs> See, I was going to do one thing. <laughs> do what you were going to do. Please, please, I beg of you. That is so much funnier. No, do what uh, so, do. so then I, I, I just take the sleeping roll off of my bag and I slap it out and, and you just see like dust and dirt just fly off of it. All over the bed. And um, <laughs> no, all over the floor where, the, where I moved the bed from. 
And then I go, uh, <clears throat> uh, I'll, I'll be sleeping here for the night. Oh! You know, I could have bought you a bed. I, I don't sleep on beds. Wait, why? Wait, why? Put that! I need that! I need that clip! Wait, why? Wait, why? It's part of my religion. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, so, do you like, do you not like beds then? Or like, you Saren raised the you know, I don't want when, 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 God of when, discomfort? When, or like, bad, like, like, cricks in your neck or something? God of, God of back pain. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 God I, of ice and hot. You know what I can see here? It's always sunny and ice and yeah. grass. <laughs> These two motherfuckers. It's. We it's it. like, <laughs> wait, why? The game goes to Isogross. <laughs> oh well. Uh, peace be with you. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> okay. Do you sleep in your full plate? Because uh, it will affect your exhaustion. So I, oh. I, I, I very ceremoniously take off all of my full plate and arrange it at the head of my bed, awesome. and then I. Uh, do a quick prayer over it and uh, have some things that I do a prayer with over it uh, before I go to sleep. Um, and I wait just long enough for Andre and uh, Brago to go to bed and then I put my hands on both of them and cast lay on hands and uh, take away both of their uh, drunkenness. Uh, so I don't fall asleep right away like I mimed. Um, I will wait long enough to where I no, won't no, get yeah, a point of exhaustion. You're fine. You're just fine. I'm, not, I'm not trying to <laughs> yeah, fuck no. with you. Um, before going to sleep, Brego and I meditate. So we, yeah. we sit cross-legged back to back, and we just close our eyes, and we sort of relax. and Okay. Yep. Usual thing. Let's go. Compile everything that we <laughs> saw for the day. Okay. And then Brego falls asleep first. And then I push Brigo over into his bed. Except for Elena. Okay. Uh, any nighttime bed? routines? Yeah. Um, Rose um, and um, and Damien. <sighs> that was exhilarating. That was fun. <laughs> yeah, I haven't. You know, I don't think I've ever been tipsy before. It's quite exhilarating. Did you, did you drink? You gave me your first one. Uh, no, I didn't drink, but wow. <laughs> you got a second-hand drunk for me. I understand. Something like that. <laughs> right. All right, so I know you've been dying to talk about it. Go um, ahead. So, what's your theory? Lay it on me. Um, oh, uh, well, you... I mean, it's a bit on the nose, isn't it? Us sort of walking into this situation. It seems, if I... You know, I've, I've never been much of a, a religious person. You know this, but mm-hmm. if the gods ever did play a hand, it would be. Well, yes, no, that I mean, was pretty yeah. overt. <laughs> Someone recently asked me if I believed in manifesting, and I answered no. But what I did say was that I believe if you make actionable atoms in your life mm-hmm. a priority and you sort of work towards <laughs> them, them, you're more likely to achieve them. And we have been working on this for quite some time. So, is it the gods? Is it sort of just our own specific actions that we took <laughs> that led us here? But nonetheless. No. Quite exhilarating to finally find half of a quarter of a lead. Half of a quarter of a lead is more than we've had in half or a quarter of a year. So they change. Yeah. They change. It's 923. They and they're all very nice and non-judgmental. That was quite new and nice. They were that. They were that. Um, well. You liked them? You're okay with this. You're. Oh. No offense, but a group would be amazing. <laughs> Lightning the load does sound nice, actually. Mm. Um, even I can get tired every once in a while. Still. So. No. Oh. So. So we're in. We're going to do it. I'm in. All right. I hope that Quiven sticks around. They seem a bit flaky. I hope that Quiven sticks around too. They but seem like to em. be. Uh, yeah, they seem to be interesting, but. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to uh, do a bit of reading on idioms. <laughs> right, right. Um, for once, I might they actually. They don't really. Yeah, I might actually be able to 
offer some insight in your direction. Yeah, it's hard whenever it's happening at a rapid pace and they're supposed to rhyme and you're supposed to like keep up. Right. Uh, if you ever, I sort of like just got to the first one mm-hmm. and then was sort of mm-hmm. at the chorus. From you to particularly <laughs> them, um, I've I've known the sort before. Um, if one ever goes completely over your head, sorry, I did have a few drinks. Mm. If one ever goes completely over your head, um, it is okay for you to call them a smart ass. That is a terminology that would be endearing for me. I don't know that they would appreciate a stranger calling them that, just because I don't understand their artistry. I bet they would, actually. You know that. I don't don't know it for certain, but I've seen the type, the performer type, and I've seen the the way that that people interact with them, and uh, there's a lot of laughter and calling of names and and fun jest and that sort of thing. Well, take your word for it. Anyway, you should get some sleep. Um, We both should. Well, that'd be great. Uh, Sweet dreams. Uh, I just sort of wink uh, one one golden eye when she says sweet dreams, and I will uh, set up in bed, and I'm writing in this small little journal that I have. I go fuck sleep. So it sort of fades, up to and it fades in <laughs> yeah. on Quiven. I climb up to the ceiling. I cross my arms. <laughs> <laughs> no. It fades in. I pull out my portable coffin. Yeah. <laughs> it fades in on Quiven, just laying in bed, staring at complete nothingness. You can see sort of this, like, deep silence in their eyes that you could easily mistake for sadness. You can faintly hear this soft, sort of dramatic music playing. And then you realize that they are the one playing it. <laughs> <laughs> and they say, Pale Bank. Night Shank. Something, right? Oh, we're going to have to work on this. We're going to have to work on this. Pale Bank. Why did it have to be pale bank? Ooh, Wenth. Good night, Wenth. They close their eyes and they go to sleep. Aww, that was very sweet. <laughs> <That one. laughs> the sun rises the next day. Biting cold still. Seems to almost be colder in your room this morning than it was when you went to bed. As Kyle would say at this point, I'm like, get up and turn the panel. Get back in bed. Get back in bed. Fuck, it was fucking cold. This is an avid description of every morning of my life. Every morning. You're valid. Um, no, and if you all make your way back down to the bar area of this keep, um, you see Elro uh, sitting at the, not sitting at the bar, but like standing at the bar discussing with the bartender. Um, this is the same guy from last night. Um, oh, there, there you are. You're awake. I assume everybody uh, comes out for your Hello, or friend. Or someone comes out first. Good to see you again. You as well. I, I hope you enjoyed your night's rest in here. Very much so. Very the much. The is the best, best in town. Slept so comfortably. Haven't had a bed that comfortable in weeks. Wow. Well, thank you very much for putting us up there. Where have you been the past couple of weeks? Did you You're traveling throughout your house? Your <laughs> Did you fix me last night again? A bit on a boat, too. I am significantly less hungover than I should be. I, last night you said you don't get hangovers. That doesn't make any sense. I don't feel them, but I can still feel them. <laughs> that makes lots of sense. Would you like to elaborate? <laughs> What's did your you, next Did thing? you cure me? I don't answer. <laughs> I, I, I do answer. I was like, um, our next move is actually to speak with you. Um, okay, what, what? Alba Tower? What's what's his name? Last name? Elro. Alba, Alba Tower. Alba Tower. Yeah. Right, right. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I was reading my own handwriting. Elro. Elro. Sorry. Um, uh, um, um, actually, we believe our next move is to speak with you, um, oh, yes. uh, uh, sir. In any way I can help, I can track with I. Right. Um, well, we were wanting to speak with... We were wanting to speak with this Tolgi Lutan, yes. and we were hoping that you might be able to point us in the direction. Now, you said you were at odds with this individual in some fashion, so maybe um, don't introduce us, but if you could point us in the direction. Sure, uh, absolutely. I yeah. can walk, her to, walk you all to her street. I didn't suppose Gwent recently traveled in the ice, of course. Uh, yes, like I said, um, Ergen came back from a year-long expedition just a few weeks ago. Uh, do you ago. know the purpose of the expedition? <laughs> Truly, he assumed just to explore more ruins. That's usually what he has to do. Right, so that's... Okay. I'm just curious. But I was he didn't curious. seem to come back with, like, anything crazy. As the detective say, trying to put the timelines together. 
Well, well, Tolkien, Tol- Tol- sorry, you were doing a thing. Do you think Tolkien would be amenable to see another healer or researcher, someone who might be able? To, uh, I, I believe we might have um, uh, Rose. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm t- I apologize. I'm I believe. Crash. No, that's all right. I, I believe we actually might have, and by we, I, I do mean um, Rose here might yeah. have some particular. Um, I believe whatever is afflicting your friend might have, it might fall within her area of study and expertise. We might be able to figure sure. something out just by st- st- like getting a look at her or, or talking to her. I'll be honest with you, I appreciate that, and the healers of my village would as well, but I'll be honest, Togi probably doesn't want you. I can oh. be very <laughs> persuasive. No, yes, and I don't. I'm sure you can. Uh. I, I, He's being I don't, very kind. Right, we're doing what he's alluding to, I, I'm not a healer by any means. Uh, studying. Do you know what a thesis is? Yes. Uh, well, mine is specifically on blood curses and, and how to mm. you get think through it's a them. Blood curse? No, he's connecting dots that may or may not exist in an attempt to be right. a kind friend. On that note, it could be a blood curse. Well, well, <laughs> well um, whatever you wish to do if she's willing it, we are we are I, I, unsure I, I, at this well, time as to what it could be Elro, and we are just I, not I don't know why try, we're applied. trying not to rule out anything just yet right sure. i would Given say that, that we know nothing that. i would say that we just have within our midst a rather unique physique of course um and perhaps that's what we need if the more general physique sure. is on sure sure i i can walk you there for sure what are you ready do you do i'm an adept Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, cr- crash, you wait. Go. <laughs> uh, currently, I'm uh, sort of working on my thesis. You didn't in tell blood us. So you you didn't, you didn't tell us where you were from She's yesterday. She's a nerd. I get By it. By the way. So you uh, know. They're from Taldore, well, no. and they're from... So, uh, how many Johan, books have you read from this fucking library are you from? in the temple? Well, well, yeah, all sort of asshole. We only had five, but it took you forever. Sorry. Sort of here, sort of there. Um, most recently, mm-hmm. I, I took a ship from Asilra as soon as I heard word. Asura. Oh, Where it's a that? continent to the east. East? You're from the east? Sort of east. here, sort of there. But like, like not, 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 not where are you from most recently, but like, where were you born? Among friends. <laughs> Among friends? That's good. Among us? <laughs> anyway, uh, Elro, if but you'd like to take us to yeah, Tolgis. As you wish. And, and you just hear in your head, I'm pulling your leg. <laughs> cool. Uh, he will walk you to, <laughs> through the town, uh, uh, which you see uh, is kind of posted up. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. I have a nice picture. Um, the settlement is kind of situated against like a low cliff boundary, um, and the out. The mountain range that you're kind of settled close to is the, now I'm sure I'm not saying this right, the Flotkit Alps. Sure. Um, yeah. F L O T K E T. Sounds good. The consensus among the table, get no argument here. So there's like a couple watchtowers around here because it is like a base, like an outpost. Um, and some of these houses are like literally posted up on the cliff, like, like you walk up rickety stairs and like it's in the cliffside. Um, but he leads you through the town a little bit and brings you to a cabin kind of on the outskirts of the town. Um, and he stands quite a bit back, um, like a hundred feet, a couple hundred feet maybe. And he's like, well, um, there's where she resides. Ergen's cabin is actually not far, but right. if this is where you're intended to be, then is that something we could? You are. Get an access to to look to look around if there's Argens? <coughs> yes. Sure. If he left anything. Yes, uh, absolutely. Uh, any items or anything? There's one glass blade um, posted outside, but I know her quite well, so I could. Perhaps you could uh, introduce us or walk us up there. Um, maybe do 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 you? I should we talk to Do you want Tolgi's first or fish? Uh, I was We're wondering. Here. I was thinking we could maybe expedite it and maybe half of us go to. To uh, Ergen's place and look around for anything odd, and the other half the talk to Tolgi. <laughs> any, <clears throat> any objections to that? I think it's best if I go uh, into Tolgi's. I as well would be interested in I was definitely going to agree with that. You seem to know what you're looking for when it comes to these sort of 
Oh, you said I, you cr- you traveled to Isocross. You're good so at talking to people. We'll go to. Well, you should go yes. to uh, Urgens since you're immune to diseases. That would be most wise. Mm. I am not immune to diseases. Oh, you made it kind of sound like that. Or poison, something. I don't know. Nah, that's later in the monk tree. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I got you. Oh, no, I'm not no, cool I'm enough just, yet. I'm Give me a little bit. I made a comment about my strong metabolism, but then was corrected. <laughs> I, I will do whatever the party likes. Um, I can be a sharp eye if I'm looking for things I in the areas. Yes, if I you can are be a rather sharp tongue. Right. If I need Could you be zombie. blue? Could you be brown? I did, oh, that'd be cool. Like. Could you be by, by the sky? sky? Hey, that sounds cool. Could you be purple? No, I, can, I think that's violet. Violet. I think that's violet. Could you be anything on like? No. No, no. no. <laughs> this Any bit this? ends now. Sorry, the significant other got involved. They got weird. Whoa, whoa. If you two want to talk to Toby, I will fuck you. And then perhaps the four of us could go look around. You you probably knew him the best, and you probably know what you're looking for, and the Lord knows I'm not going to be much help. I wouldn't um, be completely honest. Nah, but most of the times he came to visit, I don't remember. But I can stay with you if you want to talk. I would love you to be And I was a, very drunk. On the day. Or you. Standards. Okay. Um, then you three go check out Old Gear's place, and we'll go talk to... Um, uh, Tolgi. Tolgi, thank you. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, we're not as well. <laughs> Quiven, Quiven will full on salute, clapping their heels together, and then we'll walk towards nowhere. They have no <laughs> idea where they're going. They'll just start walking. I'm just holding my drink, and I'm like, Actually, this guy. It is that way. He is my <laughs> job behind you. I knew that. He will start. <laughs> and real quick before you cut to whomever, it says, "Oh no, wait! I need to stop back by the cat tavern. I left something." Um, <laughs> okay. What the bar? I wouldn't mind getting. Like right uh, before you go to Ergens? Yeah. It's like a circle around. Oh my bad. Well, then we can mind. go back. I need to get a refill anyway. I right mean, on. retcon. No, it's not. There. <laughs> <laughs> it's right next door. Who would have right thought? Next door. It's wow. right next door. This is incredible. Okay, okay tavern, um, please first. Okay. Uh, Quiven runs inside, runs up to the room, comes back downstairs, and they uh, first off have their guitar with them, just like holding it. They're so, sorry, this is a turn. Um, holding it, like choked up on the neck a bit, just kind of in their hand, and strapped around their back is this large. It looks like a guitar at first, mm-hmm. but then, and it's made of wood, mostly. And as they turn, you see about. Maybe 48 to 57 black ivory keys oh my God. built into the black side. Black ivory? Yes. Okay. Um, God. Okay. Black ivory. It's um, Dungeons and Dragons. Black, yeah. black, black ivory. Sorry, it's, it's reversed from what a normal piano yeah. is. It's black, it's black, obsidian, maybe? black, black main keys and then, oh. and then the white, it's, it's just reversed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nonetheless, yeah. Um, set into a large wooden frame with a couple of metallic as, um, aspects to it. What? It's from the paint I was doing earlier. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, Sorry. And, they, and they have what looks like a keytar on their back <laughs> um, <laughs> to, to, to you people. <laughs> as you come back downstairs in the tavern, I'm talking to the bartender. I'm like, so what's, what drink are you most proud of? Uh, well, the bartender at 8 in the morning? Yeah. What the fuck? Honestly, <laughs> Dude, I'm really, just I'm really good at making the frost mead. But if you go to the Come On In, just a couple of uh, couple towns over, they've got this deep stout cask. It's got this Whoa. deep chocolate flavor, but it smells really bad. But don't let that stop you. It's pretty quite good. My brother really likes those sweet stouts. I may try okay. that. How do you spell that? My what? Huh? Right, shut up. The what? All right, how do you let's go. How do you spell that one? How do you spell the name of the place? The Come On In. Yeah. How, how do you spell, spell that? that one? The uh, see. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> Say it like the see? next word. <laughs> so like a, which vowel is that? Is that a C? Um, and, and then, uh, and then uh, I mean, I really actually meant the nest of the griffin. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Only the local. Song. And how do you spell that? <laughs> C U M M. I was prepared for this. Here's my already. I just started this list of taverns with unique drinks. So fuck you. Yes. My is ready. Yes, oh, nice. Thank you so much. Yeah. This is all I've wanted. Okay. All right. So you got your shit. Erlo will re- yeah will lead you to Ergen's cabin. Um, oops, 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 oops. And we'll do that first. He he. <laughs> I don't think he he's gonna want to stay though. That's fine. He's gonna just say. 
I'll I'll meet you back at the tavern in a few hours. Absolutely. And then go off. Insight check. Okay. <laughs> uh, he's avoiding this place, but is it for just like Ooh. sadness or, is or... It guilt? Uh, that is a seventeen. Mm-hmm. He seems he does actually seem a little bit sad to kind of come up on this, but more on like a. This is my friend. This is my friend. Yeah. Like okay, I don't okay. want to go to his house. I just I just wanted to make sure there wasn't no, any fine. like <clears throat> secondary alter- motivation. And if, if a sickness is spreading, also. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah I have a plus six. Well, here's a hundred gold. Go figure that out. Yeah. <laughs> um, Enjoy it. Where you missed. So you approach, <laughs> and... Oh, I forgot the glass blade was there. So he kind of walks up to this glass blade. Um, she seems to be kind of a rookie. You see this, um, just like a female wood elf. She doesn't seem very old. She's posted up. Uh, she seems actually really stiff, so maybe he's not very experienced. Um, and he, like, refers to her by name, uh, which is Mila, if you want to get her name. Mila Tenno. Um, Who is this? Sorry. The glass, glass blade, blade that's supposed to outside. <clears throat> oh, gotcha. And he just talks to her real quick, and then she just nods and kind of steps aside for you guys to win. And then he departs. I will. Um, so she opens the door. Oh. oh. Go ahead. Oh, I, I can open it. She says. Yeah, I'm just being polite. Okay. <laughs> Very nice, Miss Tenner. Thank you. I appreciate okay, it. This. And um, when you enter the cabin, if all three of you do, uh, you notice that this is a very dark, cramped cabin. Um, it might have been a cozy place uh, when the owner was alive, but now there's an unmade bed that stands near a cold <coughs> fireplace. Uh, the mantle is hung with the head of some snarling white beast with gray horns. Um, actually, all three of you here would recognize this as just like a local white buffalo. Um, so this is what they hunt for. They don't get the very... It's pretty rare to get anything in this part of the, <coughs> the continent. Um, but the white buffalo is really what kind of supplies. There's white buff- buffalo and then like a type of goat. So this is the buffalo. Um, on the other side of the room, a small table is strewn with like dirty dishes and set with a dwarf-sized chair. Um, and they stand before two empty shelves whose contents are scattered across the floor. Uh, kitchen utensils, dried foodstuffs, adventuring gear, a few books. It's kind of a mess in here. She says, uh, take all the time you need, I guess. And kind of steps back out. Right before we enter, Andre sort of recollects himself and takes on like a slightly more serious look okay. as he goes in. Okay. That's what you guys see? Is anybody home? Ooh. No. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, Quiven's just going to kind of like adjust their hat and walk mm-hmm. straight in and start kind of like <clears throat> feeling under tables oh and my, things oh like my. that and just kind of like looking for anything that might be like taped under something Make or like a slight like I such a pain in the ass well that was a good roll it was holy shit 8 12 16 17 yeah. plus 5 is 22. 22. Okay. You're such a dick <laughs> for so using you that actually, die. <laughs> yeah, fuck those You guys. should only use that for performance checks. Yeah, they're banned. Ooh, that's Other a good idea. That's for, that's for um, so you know, you've actually been here before. Um, Ergen has brought you here before. So you notice right away, Ergen is not necessarily a messy person. This place seems to be trashed. Um, and with that investigation check, you do find just kind of under a few papers from these scattered books some footsteps. Um, <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Brago, look at this. Hey, what was this? Oh, no, I'm so sorry. The buffalo head, which I thought is cool. This is way cooler. I'm sorry, I didn't actually read far enough. Um, <laughs> this is actually the head of a yeti. Which you three from this who have been in this region enough to know that know that this is a yeti. Um, The foodstuffs maybe resemble this buffalo. Um, You guys kind of look around. You notice some adventuring equipment. You can examine it more if you want. There's this mounted head. Um, So you find these footprints and you actually see them leading through one of these books and you pick up the book and you open it. Just kind of haphazardly trying to figure out what's going on. And you see just a piece of paper sticking out of the top, as of kind of a placeholder. And the place in the book doesn't really seem to make any sense, but the piece of paper you grabbed seems to be... Well, hold on. 
<clears throat> it seems to be a dated receipt of some kind. Hmm. It's dated two months pre- previous. Hmm. And through this rough language, it sort of indicates that Ergen sold several Aeorian items hmm. in a local antique shop in town called Pelk's Curiosities. And he sold this stuff for a thousand gold. That's what he got for it. Total or each? Uh, total. Gotcha. The items that are listed on this receipt. What was Sorry, what was Pelk's, the P-E-L-C, Pelk's Curiosities. Gotcha. Um, the items listed here are a dagger, a scroll case, a jade statuette, a quiver of 20 arrows, a silver ring set with a jasper. Don't know what that means. And I'm two... Jasper's a stone. I know, but it says a silver ring... Oh, set with... I get it. I'm stupid. Um, and two blue glass vials. And I would say just with you maybe have been through Pale Bank before, you know that Pelk's Curiosities is this little shop on the other side of town. What was that last item? Uh, um, two blue vials. Yep, two blue glass vials. And it was a Jasper ring? Yeah. Um, do you say that out loud, like communicating it to Brego? Um, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll literally go, Brego, look at this, and then I will read this receipt out loud, and, and then just say, looks like a receipt for Pelk's Curiosities. Hmm. When I hear him say blue vial, can I sort of search the the house for an empty vial? Make an investigation. Oh. Hmm. I can get a hand with that, if you tell me about it. Yeah, uh, you should, uh, help me look, for, see sure. if, uh, That's fine. Mr. Intelligence, what you? Natural, natural 20. 20. Oh, Roll really again, good. see if you get a na- another natural 20. Yeah. yeah, there it is. How natural is this? Okay, Nine. that's okay. okay. <clears throat> you don't find any, like, empty glass files. Sure. But you do notice, after Quibben points out maybe these footprints, but then they become too distracted with this receipt. Sure. These footprints lead right outside, and if you kind of peek out the window or something, they go right to Toby's house. Mm, they were fucking house. <laughs> <laughs> we cut now. To Tolgi's house. I think they were at cut. Title card, Tolgi's house. The gang goes to Tolgi's house. It's like a dog's house. So, um, it might be best, if you seem to um, present yourself as somewhat of a healer, it might be best if you take the lead on this. And uh, Yes, I'm, I'm well spoken. don't want to scare the poor woman. Um, we just want to help, honestly. So. Also, they... They very much said that this woman was resigned to be left alone till death, so we do need to enter with that knowledge that many before us have tried, and that's true. so that's pressing true. too hard might... Might scare her off. Do we have anything unique we can offer? Or yes. it's just, um, uh, <clears throat> I could offer her uh, her last rites. I could also... Um, <laughs> I was thinking some sort of insight into her I could end her pain. I also specifically... Um, can divine uh, any ailment uh, as far as disease or poison. Okay. So I could tell her exactly what it is that is. If it's a disease, if it's or, a a disease or poison. Very well. Um, so we could offer we could offer a unique insight, and if she's yes. not interested in that, we could at least maybe buy some time to question her by offering last rites, if that's what she's interested in. Yes. Let's lead with unique insight. Yes. All right. Well then, yeah. we should have unique insights. Have asked if she was a drinker. Mm. That would have been a good place for me. Yeah. This snow covered cabin looks very peaceful and quiet from the outside. The windows, though, are shuttered, and a steady stream of smoke is piping out of the chimney, which indicates there's a roaring fire within. So it seems like Toby's home. <laughs> if you want to approach. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and approach. And I'll just give it a uh, a very gentle rap at the door. Okay. Um, one second. I love the term rap at the door. Yeah. Go away! Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Hi, uh, we've never met before, so I, I don't blame you for not wanting any visitors, mm-hmm. but we've sort of been sent. Goody Tolgi, uh, we offer we offer <clears throat> unique insights to what ails you. Uh, if if that does not interest you, uh, 
at least let me save your soul and offer you your last rites. <clears throat> Make a persuasion check. Hey, yo! <laughs> 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 Intimidation or could, deception, whatever you're doing. we argue that there 23. was assistance from... Yes. Oh, not, no, you do not have my assistance. Oh, okay. Smoking I'm, stuff. <laughs> I'm not trying to help deceive this woman. <laughs> All right. It's a deception I, check. No, I can offer last rites. I'm a no, that was a persuasion. Persuasion. All right. All right. Mallory <laughs> said deception, deception in the line. I said of you could do yeah, Correct. persuasion yeah. or intimidation. So if you were doing deception, I'm, you do not have my assistance. <laughs> <laughs> there is a long pause before. All right. Yeah. Nope, not that many. <laughs> Put on a pair of red leather gloves and before I walk in. Okay. Ooh. And the heat. <laughs> nope. nope. <laughs> not sexual. Not everything I do is sexual. No, it was, it's just cool. Yeah, no, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. The heat shit. in this small cabin hits you all like we a put on red leather gloves not and then everyone says, ooh. This is cool. Like, oh, it's cool. It wasn't yeah, a horny yeah. cool. Who's, who's sexualizing it now? <laughs> no, leather gloves are cool. Okay, good. I forgot Thank to mention, I like, apologize to this is a you. legit detail, but I forgot to mention that Andre wears fingerless leather gloves. Cool, cool, cool. The heat in this small cabin just hits you all like a hammer blow. Mm. A table set with nearly, I'm sorry, neatly stacked dishes, tools, and utensils stands in the center of the room. This is a one-room, like, log cabin. Um, the smell of a simmering soup comes from a pot hanging inside a roaring fireplace. Another fire burns in an iron brazier uh, at the opposite end of the room, filling the cabin with a smoky haze. And shivering at the end of a bed near the brazier is a dwarf wrapped in blankets. Bulging blue veins streak her face, neck, and hands. So who are you? Uh, I am I am a priest of Serenray. Cool. Uh, <clears throat> I What are you doing here? I'm I'm here to offer unique insight and provide you with your last rites. Do you worship a deity? Nah. Very Actually, well. mm. no, she, no, nah. No? Very well. <clears throat> she said that. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, oh, nah. I, 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 I go over her body, and I don't think I can ritual cast. Mm. No. I don't. I, 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 cannot, she, I cannot ritual cast. She stops you before you really take too many steps in, and she goes, I don't need that kind of stuff. <clears throat> I don't need that kind of stuff. I'm fine. This is not to heal you. I don't need the religious stuff. Please um, don't. If, if I may, um, uh, hello, um, and shit, I always keep forgetting her name. Tol- uh, Tolgi, correct? Yep. I'm Damien Monkov. Um, we, uh, you knew, um, you knew Organ. Um, I, I did. I assume. Uh, we have friends of his, actually, and, uh, we're here, sort of, uh, to follow up. Um, he seems t- to pass due to whatever it is that is ailing you. Yeah, I think we've got the same thing. Right. There is concern amongst um, many people around here, us included, that whatever is ailing you might possibly prove itself contagious in some way or transmitive and and Could then be. I then I know that I would do nothing if that were the case I would do nothing but commend you for taking it upon yourself to self-isolate um, however we are we are simply meaning to attempt to divine some information upon you about whatever it is that ails you um, these two here are relative experts uh, in their respective crafts um, and might be able to offer something more unique than the healers that have already attempted to do so. Uh, If you're not willing to partake, then we cannot and will not force anything on you. Will it help cure me? I hope so. Will it hurt? No. Fine. Let me say what those next to me want. I have the opposite answers to both questions. It will not kill you, and it probably will hurt a bit. I think I'm not a healer by any means. I have actually little to no capability of doing so for you. And I think, honestly, most of the time, folks are ill. People placate them in the ways that they know the truth. 
Mm. I cannot help you necessarily, but I've heard you don't necessarily want helping. So all I can say is that I can try and take a sample study in my own time and maybe can help others. If you don't want the religious uh, feel wells, then maybe you can take a bit of comfort knowing that science has been bettered by your donation, and it would be very minimal. Pain. What are you taking from me? Well, I would say your blood. How much? Just a vial's worth. <coughs> but again, I, I say I don't your like blood needles. with the understanding that blood, no needles involved, darling. That's worse. <laughs> Um, as soon as Andre would have noticed the footsteps, he would have communicated that to the other two, and probably as soon as we feel like we finished gathering information, I would have inquired to Quibbin if he could shoot a message communicating what we discovered to everyone else. Okay, we're probably not at that point. No, yet. I got you. I just wanted to know, like, whenever <laughs> we get there. He went all the way to a tavern. <laughs> well, that note message is only 500 feet, so would I even be able to do that? <clears throat> not from Argon's heaven. Okay. <clears throat> but I can, I can put you to sleep beforehand if it helps. No, <coughs> definitely not. Allow is that all go. you came to do, is Allow take me, my blood? Allow me to go first. Mine, mine will be much quicker. Six Great. seconds, in fact. <laughs> and I say a quick... Uh, I, say, I, I speak in Celestial over her, holding my hands. And, um... Jeez, I was say, what are you saying? <laughs> you, don't, you don't speak Celestial. Yeah, um, I do. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I know a bit. <laughs> well, then you hear what I say. I'm not going to go no, through here. Um, uh, <clears throat> Our father. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our mother, who our mother, our mother I was going to say. By the light of Saren Ray, uh, blah 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 blah. Yeah. Um, and I uh, cast detect poison and disease. So for the duration, uh, which is like up to ten minutes, which doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, I can sense the presence and location of poisons, poisonous creatures, and diseases within thirty feet of me. I can also identify the kind of poison, poisonous creature, or disease in each case. Ooh. So okay. if, if if this is a poison or disease, I know exactly what it is, and if it isn't affecting her. Okay. What was the last part? Um. If it is a. Just for the noise. Just gonna... oh. Okay. You identify the kind of poison, poisonous creature, or disease in, in each case. So for every. Poison, disease, or so any okay. poison, disease, or poisonous creature within 30 feet of me, I would be able to detect and know exactly which okay. poisons and diseases it carries. Or okay. it's nothing if it's not a poison or a disease. Uh, Correct. Anything? Anything. As long as it's a poison or disease. So if it's a curse, I would not detect it. And then I would, okay. by process um, of elimination, from what we've gathered, assume that it was some sort of curse. It's a disease. It is a disease. So I would know the name of it. Rigid woe. Okay. Um, do you know any characteristics about it from this, or do you just know it's a disease? Well, uh, I just know uh, the kind of poison or disease. So I would just know that it is the frigid woe. I would just want to know what local would know. Yeah. Um, Maybe if, it, if there's anything, it might be like, it's a disease of the blood or a disease of the a mind. special frigid woe is a special disease. Okay. Damn. Yeah. Pretty unique, ow, ow. but we know it's not a curse. Okay, and then I will try. It's well, not, not um, strictly a curse. It might be a curse that onset a disease. Who knows? <laughs> I, I, I say, mm-hmm. I'm sure you've had this done before. Allow me just to try as I lay my hands on her. Okay. And I say once again, by the light of Saren Ray, blah, 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 blah. And I will spend five points of my lay on hands pool to either cure a disease or natural or neutralize a poison affecting a creature. Okay. You release this magic from your fingertips, as you've done many times before, within the last 12 hours, in fact. And as you see the magic kind of seep through Tolgi's form, the room suddenly feels very cold, and you feel your connection with the magic is lost, and she doesn't look any different. Mm-hmm. Didn't seem to work. And I say to her, I say, I'm sure this has all been done to you before, but I want you to know this has specifically brought us miles closer to helping you. 
Cool. <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> Togi would. Also, it is not necessary to take her blood. I believe. <clears throat> Speak for yourself. Might be. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's <laughs> ominous. So our expertise might be for blood curses. I think we could still learn a lot. Just okay. Yeah. Would you? Is is there any way we could convince you? No, to... I no. You okay. can make a persuasion check. No, she doesn't want to. I don't want to try to force you, but I. I don't like it. I don't blame you. I wouldn't either. Do you mind answering a few questions then? No, no needles or otherwise. Maybe. Um, Had someone take my blood once and didn't know I was, so it's keep it in there. Just um, in there. Personally, <coughs> or, or um, was there something rather unique about that experience? I don't know. Just a few, few years ago. Oh, okay. Quite, quite. Uh, not, not it, to it's this. It's not related. Scenario, of course. Okay. Yeah. Um, when did you last see? Um, Olgi, Ol- Oregon. Oregon. Terrible with names. <laughs> what did you ask? Elro put you up to this. You can question me some more. I am a close friend of to- uh, of Ergen's. Uh, this <coughs> well, is not anymore. Someone right. being dead. Oh, not right. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a good. That was a good character uh, moment. I know, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can. Is, you yes. can make a. Intimidation or persuasion check to kind of get some answers out of her, but she's kind of shutting down a little bit. She knows she's sick. Okay. But it's, um, but it's after, a possibility. Af- she af- after she says that, I'm going to try to intimidate her. Okay, how? To, uh, uh, she's like, it's just... I, 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 from my previous hunched pose where my hands were just on her. Okay. Yeah, you're now, much bigger than her. Fully stand six mm. feet tall oh. uh, with, my, with, my, with the pads going fully oh. up. And then uh, you just see some of the glint through the armor of this large crystal. And you see, you, you don't see, uh, but she just feels uh, a wave of force mm-hmm. from under my breath move and, like, cover her. Okay. Uh, it's an 11, though. <clears throat> oh, yeah, everybody starts with a hero phone. Oh, okay. Yeah. You wanna use it? Not me! Uh, that is a uh, 17. Yeah, that'll be enough. Um, okay. She buckles a little bit. I was like, fine, what, what do you want to know? Before I die. Well, we want to know uh, information that we hope can help you. So, um, you last spoke to Ergen, or last saw him. A few weeks ago. I know he came back with treasures from Isocross, and, well... She kind of looks around at her house. Some people have a different way of living up here. I saw a chance, I took it. I waited for him <coughs> to sell his shit to Pelks, and I stole them all. You stole, I'm sorry? His wares. All stole of them. I gave them to my sister, so it's fine, I don't have them anymore. Well, I got one. And she, like, lifts her blanket up just a little bit. You see this, like, it's just a dagger in her hand, like, <laughs> out that she had hiding under her blanket. If you want it, you can look at it, but I, sh- I want to keep it. Um, I don't blame you, I, I think, would, too. I think it's best if I hold on to it. it was, to the dagger? I'm giving it to you. You can look at it. It's mine. I mean touch. Okay, here. Sorry. And I pick it up. Okay. Um, and I'll get back to that in a second. I've been in Pale Bank for a few years. I'm not from around here. And my sister's here. and I'm trying to make it a living. And it might not be honest, but it's a, it's a living. No judgment. We're not here to judge you. Sure. Um, we're just here. <coughs> so what, what items did you give to your sister, then? If you, you kept a dagger. Shit, I don't know. Uh, scroll case, a jade statuette. Quiver of twenty arrows, a silver ring set with jasper. Shit, I don't know. And two this blue detail glass vials. <laughs> Did the vials have anything in them? Some blue stuff. <clears throat> Did you drink or imbibe or let it touch open. your skin or anything? I mean, I grabbed them, but I didn't. I'm just they, weren't, they weren't even open. Okay, Seal, sealed vials. Yeah. All right. What was the statuette of? It's a little dude. 
Okay. Um. <laughs> 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 I want him on his birthday. I want you to be divine anything from my dagger. I would still have my. Um. I would still have my. Detect poison. Also, it would probably be about this point if you want to leave her. It doesn't send a message. This would be a valid one. Beep, 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 I would, beep, 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 I would still have my detect poison disease up. Okay. <laughs> uh, nothing on the dagger. Okay. <laughs> Wait, who, do, who do you send the message to? I'll send it to uh, What's the crash. Skype song? Mr. Bandicoot. Uh, <laughs> <is it>? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dum, 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 dum. Dum, dum. You hear this in your head. Dum, 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 what was that dum, words? Dum, Did you guys have oo dum, dum. In my head, I just dum, go. Short phrase is almost like Skype. It doesn't dum. exist. Boop, boop. Crash. We found a receipt, receipt, receipt um, for a number of items. It's, it's message. You can, oh, you, it's you, a cantor. You see me. It's <laughs> short phrases is what it is. <laughs> Shaking my head. <laughs> Quiffin's oh. speaking to me, by the way. I gave most of my shit to the Is that what that is? I thought it was my sister. We found a receipt for a dagger, a scroll case, a jade statue, a quiver with 12, uh, 20 arrows, a jasper, a jasper ring, ring, and two, and two blue, blue vials. And we say, like, you hear it in your head, and she says it at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, you just immediately hear back, a day late and a dull is short. <laughs> oh, we should catch up. <laughs> <laughs> also, the footprints from Ergen's trash cabin go back to Yeah, Kobe's. we were, she didn't we say were that. following those footprints right. while we were talking. Oh. <laughs> we were like, hmm, <laughs> with a magnifying glass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, the great cat uh, All three of us have our own magnifying glass. Like a Scooby Doo line, we all follow the footprints. So I'll just say to her, I go. You stole them from Pelix. Yeah. Did you mention the footprints? Yes. I go, I go. <clears throat> Do you know why there are footprints from your house to Ergen's? Because they lead from Ergen's house to yours. Are Listen, you two fucking? I, <laughs> I searched his cabin. I didn't take anything. There was nothing there. Okay. <coughs> yes. Yes, I searched it. What is it? Well, good as shit to a dead man. Sorry. Um, this is not a sorry, not sorry. Hashtag lost. <laughs> this is not questioning out of judgment. We are merely here to gain as much information as possible. Yes. Speaking of which, can you determine anything about that dagger? Um, and I, I do, well, you said. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. No. The dagger. Okay. Oh, sorry, I gotta go back. Uh, so it's in the treasure. Perhaps. Could you study it? Wait, no, it's right here. Magical. Um. What's your <laughs> passive wisdom? My passive wisdom. What's your passive wisdom? Uh, let me tell you. I believe it is a 10, but let me tell you. Uh, passive perception is 10, and you land inside is 10. Okay. Um, you notice just just by an... Actually, make it... Why don't you make an, um, an arcana check for me? Okay. <laughs> It's a beautiful dagger. Uh, below six. <laughs> okay. It's a plus one dagger, but you don't know anything else about it. With the plus six, that wasn't enough. Okay. Um. If anybody, if any of the three of you have a have a passive perception over ten, you know it's a plus one dagger. If you want to roll an arcana check to kind of figure out why. I go, I go you haven't been cut by this blade, have you? No. Okay. I haven't cut anything with it either. Hmm. Sorry. Seems Might send it back to Shady Creek, though, if I'm well made, if getting out of here. Hmm. Rose? Mm-hmm. Anything about it look familiar? I, don't, I don't take my eyes off of her and I say, or her, like, arms, really. And I say, yeah? What was that? The dagger. Does it look unique um, to you? Do, can you... You can make an arcana check. Yeah. Can I make it? Can I make an insight check about this weird behavior being described? Eight. Hers? Yes. Sure. Oh, Eight, not enough. You don't know anything. Fuck, nothing. I don't know you anything. both just want to use. Well, uh, right yeah, thing. it's um, uh, dagger. I don't really do roll blades. Roll so, so that, not a bit. Uh, Leo. Oh, sorry. If you want to make that history check instead, either of you. Okay. It's worse. I'm trying to 
point in history, I wouldn't mind taking a look at this one. Dang. Yes, I'm, I'm sorry. Please. Please. It says intelligence, and then in parentheses says arcana, but I missed the part where Eight? it also said or history. No. Nine. Yeah, we no. know nothing. We didn't know nothing. Um, uh, is, is there anything, okay. is there anything okay. written on it? Hold on. Hold on. Uh, or engravings? Uh, just a really nice dagger? Yeah. Nothing yeah. that you, like, recognize from Nothing I could read in Celestial or Draconic? Maybe... Maybe uh, it does else. have hints of draconic on it, actually. Yes. Okay. Uh, but, but no, like words. Okay, no. just, just it, draconic actually, words. Actually, it seems really old. Okay. I wonder from where. Um. Um. So I'm kind of the wrong kind of draconic. Would it have anything to do with my background or history? Okay, go. One moment, Which is surprising please. to you, because it's rare that you find draconic that doesn't actually have like etymology Gentlemen, roots, etymological roots wait. in. The draconic that you know of. Okay. So no. Well, I'm my <clears throat> draconic wouldn't be like the same no, dialect I know. as I know. this one. I know. Um, but you hear in your head as soon as you start knocking, just come in already. No. Do not. I. You wouldn't. Do you that. Okay. Right. Right. <laughs> wait. Wait. Should I come in or no? Uh, a moment, Rot please. People. Okay, I will wait. Let a woman die for That's Pete's I'm sake. I'm trying to. We'll let the no woman offense. die and wait. I thought you said you were trying to make a living. wait. Just Which why? is it? I was, and look where it got me. I agree. I shouldn't have uh, never left Shady Creek. Uh, but we he could, where are you from? Shady Creek? No. Shady Creek? no. Yeah. She's well, we she could find it. I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah I, I am. Sorry, I'm sorry. Go ahead. And what of it? I'm very okay. sorry for what you're going yeah. through. Go outside and show the dagger to Brennan. I'm not saying this. However, audio listeners, this is very accurate. And I work for the Udalot family. Does that help you either? Fuck. She's starting to get pissed. My friends are going to step outside for a moment. Fine. Um, if I could bend your ear for one more moment, just you and me. How do you spell Udalot, by the way? U T T O L O T S. Um, your sister Hulu, Hulu. Hulu. Would she be? Would she possibly live in the city? Are we so lucky? No, she's close, but she ain't here. When did you last see her? Um, listen, I'll be brief. You don't want to fuck with my sister, but if you think you're up for it, she's got the items and other stuff stored in a little cave north of the village called Croker's Cave. Not blowjob cave. What? <laughs> <laughs> like a death crow. Like a... Oh, you know, oh. I'm dead now. Croker's Cro- Cro- cave. Cro- cave. Cro- cave. Yeah. Yeah. Not the village? Cro- Cro- cave. Not the village. <laughs> Not to be confused with Choker's cave. <laughs> Very well. Not scrolly um, cave. Not the Roper's cave. I... I don't want to give you any false hope or sugarcoat things. However... Yeah, I know. You've given us some leads to go off of. <clears throat> Right. Try not if you to find a cure, let me know. All I'm ever looking for is a cure. And maybe we can find you. You sick too? Not exactly. But. Damn. Why don't you but, let me alone to die? On my way. I'll let you alone. She stomps her feet a little bit. And um, suddenly coming up from under the bed are two wolves Ooh. that have been hiding underneath. And she kind of stumps her feet a little like bit to kind of get them to push you guys out. All right, then. Their names are <laughs> yes, please. Iro and Jira. Aww. And they're hiding under her bed. And if you guys would have chosen to break in and fight her, they would have fought you for her. Gnarly. So I just wanted to see. We could have killed more kids this campaign. <laughs> Dogs of the new game. So she kicks yeah. you out. Well. And now the six of you are. And also, they. <laughs> we fought. Yeah, we okay, take the no, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, yes. Yeah, she wouldn't have let you. She yeah, wouldn't yeah, have yeah, wanted yeah. you to yes. take the dagger. Yeah. Okay. Slide a pan. I slip it in my pocket. Nope. <laughs> She's holding it in both hands. Yeah. <laughs> um, Slide a pan. No. <laughs> <laughs> natural twenty. Oh. All right. Natural so, isn't. as we leave, <clears throat> did you have something? No, I'm just saying we're not saying this in front of her. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're out. We're outside. We okay. meet you guys outside. So, 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 um, so a very ill woman. Yeah, we have a lead. That we might be able to help her. Oh, interesting. Um, we have a common connection. Yeah, we have quite the lead actually ourselves. Um, we found a receipt to this place. Um, it's uh, it was called Elks the uh, Curiosities. Yeah, yes, that's the one. Yeah, did um, did Crash tell you? No. Um, 
She did. Toby. Toby. Oh. <clears throat> so, As yes, there were uh, like roughly. What all did she say? Uh, uh, roughly, uh, six, yes. 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 <laughs> roughly six unique items, including a dagger of some kind and 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 a couple of vials exactly. of such. Well, they're no longer at Pelks. I can assure you that. Well, well, that's a, that's a strike off our list. Where are they? Surely Andy. this uh, One Pelk guy ought to know who he sold this stuff he to. He didn't though. sell them to from it. anyone. Yes, they were stolen uh, by uh, our friend inside. However, they're uh, no longer here either. I wouldn't have guessed that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> most <laughs> made for an interesting story. Most of these items were gifted to Steel. Tolgi's sister. Zeal. Most. <laughs> really? uh, one of them is still inside. It was a dagger. Steel. We took a look at it. Nothing significant. Thank you. Okay. However. <laughs> um, Sorry. What? Where were we? we have to come back. <laughs> she kept the dagger, but Wait. she gave everything else away. She yeah. has the dagger in the room. Right. Yeah, they said we, it was nothing special. What the dagger is. Um, it, it's, a, a, it's, it's a very finely crafted one. Right, but nothing significant. Uh, a bit of <clears throat> gibberish draconic. Did they have anything to do with cold or like veins? Yes, but nonsensical. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Nothing. Apologize. Let me die. Why did you buy the fucking Ow. door anymore? Jesus. What's a woman got to do to get some second. fucking death piece? Yeah. Yeah, what he said. Do you go, are you trying to go in? No, I'm just knocking. No, I will walk. No, I'll, I'll, I'm she getting the sense that I, I will do that. <laughs> and then I'll walk away. Oh, <laughs> We're all going to be so He's mad when we have to come back in a session you. because it's this fucking dagger. <laughs> <laughs> but no one rolled high enough. That's yeah. okay. That's okay. It'll be... That it's okay. <laughs> How y'all feel about, uh, well, leaving the comforts of a warm bed? I've slept on more than enough dirt to uh, afford another night. I have faced yeah. darker travels. Do you know where Crocus Cave is? To the north of this settlement. Make a history check. Okay. Uh, Make it any colder. Uh, 23. Sure. It's not. Crooks. Yeah, s- small little stone thing, right? I don't know, but... Um, Cave is usually an absence of stone. No, I, 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 <laughs> oh, I know the yeah. general direction, yes. Okay, um, yeah, yeah. Well, anyway. Well, it actually showed me in my <clears throat> first passage through here. Hmm. Um, no, well, <laughs> anyway, uh, he's lying. <laughs> the sister, this sister, Hulil is her name, uh, apparently lives in this cave and oh. has, or was at least given, um, most of these items, all of them except for the dagger. How and do you spell the sister thing? H U L I L. But I'm operating under the theory. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but if we think these items might have anything to do with this, then that would be a good place to start. And if it's that way, if you think the mm-hmm. dagger has anything to do with it, mm. we can come back after that. But I feel like that's a more pressing issue. If this, we if we think this might be, if this if this might be contracted through one no, of these items. No, you all items. looked at the dagger. If there was nothing significant about it, then I'll take your word for it. But um, give it that woman her comfort. Right. That, that did you ask enough. how her and sister's if anything, doing? If anything, I did not. I was trying to get out of there, and I figured we were going to see the sister anyway. That's a good point. She also hasn't seen the sister in some time since she gave My her only advice. reasoning is, if these items or something amongst these items, among us, is among causing us. this illness, right? it traded hands with the two people who have contracted this illness... So if she gave these things to her sister, and we know that her sister isn't feeling too well, we can kind of start to sure. well, By that night, a crash might not feel, start feeling so well pretty shortly. Why is it? <clears throat> I'm immune to all diseases. Well, there you go. That's why I held Last it. night, you said that about me on accident. It was you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, that's what I thought. I figured you had the same thing I nah, did. Nah, I'm just we, a uh, pussy. <laughs> we <laughs> get we it? Have that. In I, common, I actually. I'm a, so it I'm a cat. <laughs> I don't. Yes. To, if there's any, if there's any interaction that has to be done with these items directly, it might fall best in our hands. Then. Yes. She didn't let me do anything um, to her person, just so anyone's mm. aware. Right. So we didn't learn anything about her veins, mm. specifically. Her veins. They were very veins. blue and bulging. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping to believe her on some of that. Well, that's something. <laughs> <laughs> we did learn something. What's that book? You what? what? The yeah. veins. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Blue and bulging. Alien well, sure. uh, yes. I was hoping to see what their contents were. Ice planet barbarians. 
You know, some of the books are really good. Maybe. 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 I have blood it's, in these. It's times such as these, I, I look to refer to words yeah. such as... <laughs> Put simply, son, said my mother, when I was but knee high, clothes need you to cover you. Clothes. But I... I don't... <laughs> you... Have rags, you just said I. hear something in your head that says something that rhymes with pale bank. <laughs> Rats, Males. I don't <laughs> I'm, I am close. Stink. Flank. Dog. Military I'm, rank. I'm Stink. Oh. what you're saying, I think, but I'm fully Stink. clothed and I don't need any rags you have to offer. Where are we going? <laughs> but it's kind of yeah. you. I really appreciate it. Where are y'all going? We're going to work on this. I believe We're going to work, yeah. work on this. You don't have I really, I'm saying what you did was very kind. I just, I really, I like, ha- I lack my vestments. We're gonna work on this. I believe <laughs> it would behoove us best to set out on our quest. I, um, that oh, I was gonna say. Oh man, here we go. What's good? Snap, see you, sir. Uh, good run. If we need anything before we leave town, best. I don't know how long y'all. How been far in town. out of town is it? Um. I uh, are we are we all couple miles? Oh, okay. <clears throat> are, right, right, is it is it, gonna, is it gonna be much colder than it is here? Would we it should mm-hmm. ascertain? Yeah. It's not going to change drastically. Um, but it's a cave, so maybe. Was, if, and, if anything, we're going to get... <laughs> if, if anything, we're going to get out of the brief bits of wind protection that these bu- these sparse buildings provide. Um, so be prepared for that, but we should find our way to a cave relatively soon. Should And specifically a cave where a woman lives. Perhaps so. lives. Um, yeah. We don't... I don't think we know she lives there. That's what, that's what she so said. She lives, lives, For real, that's what Broca's she cave. said. More that's where she stored the items. No, that's where she lives. Did she did do say the items were stored there. I do yeah, not probably remember. She said her sister doesn't live anywhere near here. She said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here. She said no, she she's... said not in town. Wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> she didn't She didn't <laughs> say very far away. She just said not in this town. Did she say that her sister lives in this guy. She didn't say lives there, but said she's there with the stuff. And oh, you, you said you said she's just outside of town. She's not in town. She's outside of town. She's yeah, from the cave is outside. Of town. Yeah. I, just, I thought she meant like fuck no, she's not around here. We just stuck the thing yeah. in the cave They're not. Neither of them are. You from thought here. like yeeted out of town. Yeah, yeah. But like I just a little, like, a little, a little bit. They're both. Shit. They're both from Shady Creek. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, but from what <laughs> Toby was saying, who little like is hanging out in the cave, like with the shit. Right. So. Okay. Well then, let's be on our way. We have a bit of a hike. Can you lead the way? So we can. All right. Yep. Lead but, on then. Where's she going? Okay. Um, oh, uh, is there anything else does, we need? Does anyone have um, pitons? Just in case we encounter. Mm-hmm. Uh, do I have those? No. Let me check my, 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 no. my purse. We, we, uh, we, we, we may just want uh, perhaps a light hammer and some pitons. Sorry, I, I may have missed this. Pitons are spikes. Uh, climbing spikes. Oh. Okay. And a light hammer to pound them. Oh, in. no, but. No. We can't all. Climb proficiently. No? Yeah, I don't have one, sorry. <laughs> I don't have that sucks. <laughs> yeah, I was well, I, I mean, I, I can just fly, but... Oh! Oh, oh look wait, at wait. this guy! Uh, okay! Mr. Uh, Mr. Wings over here! Alright, bird! I could potentially invoke the news to... Um... Please call him bird the rest of the game, please! please. I knew a bird once. Annoying I, little prick. I could potentially <laughs> invoke the news to lift our spirits and lift our physical what Tommy's doing. Yeah, I, I think climbing will be Thank fine. You. The uh, hold on, I may have missed this. You, we sort of talked about what we found. Y'all didn't find anything other than the uh, receipt. Nothing but the receipt. Yeah, and the, the footprints. Receipt. And the footprints. Understood. Oh, okay. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Right. Pretty much all clues led directly to where you were. It didn't oh, seem sure, like absolutely. much else was missing from the scene, um, other than. Can we be walking and talking? Please. Yeah. yeah. Sure. yeah. I, I would say that I remember when th- being a rather orderly person, and I was taken aback at how a strewn their place I of living was. was. We're, we're, we're saying all this headed there. Yeah. Yeah. So Sorry, I'm trying to think about maybe the, the back, final stages of this illness literally literally isn't working. Evoking like madness? Makes that ass fart. I mean, absolutely. Because, um, the way so I the deteriorated mental state is sort of just an actual progression of the bodies. 
Body. Your own illness is sort of bodies at war with the mind. Sort of, you know, that not in the way that actually the yeah. illness yeah. may even have reached the brain, oh, but just in the you. fact that when you've been struggling with something uh-huh. for so long, the will uh-huh. has sort of left you. Um, I've. That's sort of what happened to her. Although she seemed to have two wonderful furry companions to keep her company. Uh, di- unlike our two furry companions, who are also wonderful and beautiful creatures, because we're more of a canine variety to sort of protect her, which I really appreciate because I can imagine she's in quite a state. But yes, of course, <clears throat> there are many that have reached the brain before. I've uh, heard. Hold on. Sweetheart, can you just keep talking? I just, I love it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try, but also I keep seeming to slip back into something else from a <laughs> cone from that classmate I met last time. So if I sound like I've been Can't many it. places in the last month, it's because I have. And you know that thing when you're around somebody with an accent, you start mirroring them all of a sudden, and you don't really, I it don't sounds offensive, you're but you're not even trying, and I'm just trying to. <laughs> so if any of I suddenly sound like. Y'all, don't be offended. I promise it's just slip of the brain. Yeah, I've been there. I've been there. That'll do. Anyways, you were saying. I've heard of uh, illnesses before that have, um, when they are manifesting in uh, extreme circumstances, can can uh, have a deteriorating effect on your, uh, not necessarily like your memory, though that exists as well, but just mental acuity, self control. I'm sorry? Alzheimer's. No, sp- not speaking to memory. Dementia <laughs> Grandma. Just, uh, just Too self- real. Fuck! <laughs> 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 I was just speaking generally to self-control. Uh, uh, madness may be too extreme, but perhaps something. Or if you're just sick and you don't feel well, you tend to, like Rose said, just not care anymore. Mm. Sad. Mm. Can be. Rip. And as you approach, you notice... Um, you are due north of the village. It didn't take you very long to kind of head out. Trapes. Um, yeah. Trapes. How fast is our mile? You well. don't even have to roll for this. There are very frequent signs of tracks coming and going mm-hmm. from this direction. Uh, and as you approach, you see no sign of, like, patrols or guardsmen or anything. But there is a very distinct plume of smoke coming from past this cave entrance that you now are approaching. So it seems to be coming from like maybe a chimney that comes out of the cave. Whether it be natural or man, it's hard to tell. Uh, but you can tell that the hole that the plume of smoke is coming out of is like too small to like crawl through. Um, so it seems like the only way in is through the mouth of the cave. Do um, you guys approach? Jim, what's the name of the cave one more time? Broker Cave. Um, presume we tread lightly. Uh, mm-hmm. should, we, should we give you our marching order? <clears throat> if you're going in. Yeah, let's go on in. I will take a spot at the front. I'll uh, take the back. We, oh. we all should be aware that she did say, we sp- she chuckled and said we do not want to tussle with her sister. So it's to be aware that we are not, our intention is not to harm this person or to even reprimand her for a, a, an action she was within her illegal rights to take. Maybe just more stating our purpose. Um, I mean, so. Andre, uh, if you don't mind, I, I think the two of us should probably stay in front just given our general uh, inclination Affinity. to not be diseased. Yeah, I understand. Right. Um, I just, I'm looking out for your no, I good help. <laughs> uh, but I'd like to have you right behind me. I'll All take right. the tail. I walk um, next to Wags. <laughs> I walk next to Brago. Hey, okay. what's up with you? Yeah. What's so up? you walk in. I'm gonna and walk up and, and stuck literally with me take forever. your arm yeah. <laughs> and just be like, <laughs> "What's the case? What? How tall are you? Five, six, like five, five, seven. I'm like close to six foot, so I'll like. <laughs> I'll Mallory and Kyle this. I gotta, I guess I gotta reach far. down. <laughs> How tall are you? Five four. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm little. I'm sorry, I'm just so little. I'm just so tiny. I'm just so tiny. Sorry. You're so tiny. When, when I say, when yeah. I say take your home, home they are like, they're like <laughs> holding on to you for protection, not like yeah, offering yeah, yeah. No, protection. I know. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to be sure. You approach this cave, the mouth of this cave. Um, it is dark. Just some general descriptions. The ceilings are about 10 feet high with only about 8 feet of clearance because there's these stalactites. Um, the walls... Uh, nothing about the walls. There's no light sources here. It's very dark. And you can hear just like... 
like dripping. Mm -hmm. Um, thank you. And every few <laughs> moments or so. <laughs> okay, no one can do it. Thank you. <laughs> like coming from yeah, deep what? within the cave. Okay, say so it's like echoing. Can't do it. Like a like Frog. a croak. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as we come in, I'm just gonna. Uh, I like just gonna, too. Just gonna burn a divine sense. Okay. Nice. Um, Which is. As, as, as they do, Quiven will say, "Oh, something wicked this way comes." Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Ooh, I'm like, Ray Bradbury, fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> you got me. Uh, <laughs> So, um, I can, uh, so Everybody have dark vision? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who doesn't yeah. have dark vision? <coughs> no, you... Okay, great, everybody. So, uh, uh, appropriately... Nice. Good campaign. Oh, Good yeah, campaign! Yeah, yeah. You can see... Human sucks! Fuck yeah. them! Yeah. Ooh, I'm I, was, I was gonna say... I'm not a human. <laughs> I was gonna say, um... I, be, I look very human. I was gonna say, um... Golden <laughs> eyes, huh? Quickly! Yeah. Look! Um, um and so, does anybody so, um, light a light source? So 60 feet, I know the location <clears throat> of any celestial fiend or undead within 60 feet of me. For how long? Uh, for, for six seconds. Okay. Uh, I would know. I would know the location of any celestial fiend or undead, undead. within 60 feet of me. Other than potentially right. anyone in your party. Right. Immediately to my right. <laughs> Well, you can't filter it out. You don't know there. <laughs> you go, I am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, Drake could be Cuban, so it's if not I can just feel wrong. Detect Cuban, yeah, I don't know. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing else. Beyond that. Okay. <laughs> Wait, did you did you pop anything off? Like <laughs> detect Cuban, like, maybe even less. Maybe yeah. even yeah. less. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just go. I'm, not, it, I'm alive. I'm <laughs> like, like I, I don't, I don't show up physically or say anything, but it just like the little like bing pops up, like. It's like a little notification circle. Yeah. <laughs> Crash will remember this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I lean over to Quip and he says, you know, I, I dissected thousands of frogs. That is very reassuring somehow. <laughs> <laughs> They've got very interesting anatomy, depending on the time. Not very useful in my line of work. We moved on to mice quite quickly, but it's had to force yeah. to start on Your frog. line of work. Yeah. Care to elaborate? How, what do you know about human craft? Huh? Yeah. And, and <laughs> it's, very, it's very small at first, right? Like it's Ooh. sorry, like I didn't have room for Damien. Like you're in water right now. No, oh. I just I'm not used to seeing those little guys. <laughs> you wouldn't hit yeah, him on her first, birthday, would you? <laughs> my birthday party. So uh, obviously you're not really in water yet, but this is kind of what you can see through the extent of your dark vision. Beyond this is pitch black. Um, the slow <clears throat> dripping of water from the ceiling flows to a pool in the southwest corner of this cavern. Um, a large wooden bucket with a lid sits near the edge of the pool, Two and you see a 25-foot-long heavy wooden beam lying against the west wall at the south end of the pool. So it seems like you could maybe use this to walk across, mm. but it might be tricky. All right. The bucket's near us, you said, or across the way? Uh, the bucket is... Wait. Um... Yeah, are you sneaking? What are you guys doing? I don't think. I said as we enter, we should probably tread carefully, but I don't think we're trying to like sneak. Quiet. Too much. I think we're. I think we're walking slower There's only if it gives us advantage right. on perception or investigation. We're not doing it really for uh, stealth. Mm. Okay. We, we wouldn't want to sneak up on someone we're not supposed to fuck with. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. Mm. I, I am going to pull my shield off of my back though. Just because I'm a little uncomfortable going into Just a dark for cave. Fun. I Look will coffee. refill my drink as we enter because I'm also nervous. Uh, you all notice, in addition to a great sword, I have a halberd on my back. Okay. Nice. And just for fun and no reason at all, what's everybody's passive perception? Ten. Fun. Ten. Twelve. Ten. Yours is good. I have a sixteen. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, What's passive perception? It's is... 10 plus your, profi your oh, proficiency yeah, in right. perception. <clears throat> 12. Oh, it's 11. Okay. Before you're in the water, <laughs> it beats its knees. <coughs> Andre. Sorry. So sorry. It's really okay. <laughs> you notice. Oh, be nice, you two. Jesus. <laughs> Whole fucking campaign of this shit. <laughs> um, hold on. <laughs> 
Cal's like, whole life with this shit. Are you, <laughs> you notice. <laughs> um, oh, two. No, this is what if we don't die? Giant hey, ice guys. frogs. Ooh. You are trying Make to... Make it giant now! <laughs> so are, I can see it. No. Who are trying to trying to hide, and they haven't seemed to be like noticed by anybody I'll else. just grab you by your there. coat. <laughs> 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 I'm going to grab you by your coat and say, how did you not notice that? <laughs> I'm going to say, hey, watch where you're stepping. You mm-hmm. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Control Z. How do I make it small again? Just shrink it. Okay, there. <laughs> so, Damien, you're not in the water yet, but, like, you guys are up there. Oh. I just grab him by his, like, yeah, cape collar, and I go, hey, watch where you step, and we got some residents in here. Residents. Don't. <laughs> Don't. All in, then. Um, um. Do they, do they seem, like, are ice frogs aggressive? They seem to be, like, watching you get, maybe getting ready to <laughs> <laughs> can we can we back up a little bit and try and scare them off? Just like throw a few things at them. I'm not very good at scaring shit. Uh, we could all uh, yell on three. Maybe that'd do oh. it. Oh, I don't want to scare the people that we're trying to one, talk to here. The person that we're trying to talk to. Two. And one counting. of the frogs <laughs> leaps out at you, oh, and shit. we need to roll an issue. Ah, oh, shit. Boy. Oh, oh boy! Oh boy! boy. Oh, boy. And there's no. Hey. Oh, wait. We ain't a ranger anymore, baby. <laughs> How do you get advantage? Because I'm a barbarian. Oh, Hell dude. yeah, dude. Nice. Fuck yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. God damn, I love barbarians. 25 to 20. 20. 20. Okay, who goes first? You go first. first. Okay. Okay, so. <laughs> I would assume. Thing. What's your race? Um, What's your dex? Did you? 18. Yeah. Yeah, you go yeah, first. Yeah, okay. 20 to 15? 15. I hid a 17. Uh, okay. Keep on 15 to 10. 10 to 5. 8. Ooh. 6. With advantage? Mm-hmm. I rolled two sixes. Advantageous. <laughs> I'm still hey. holding you by your cape, so I you're like on down, one so foot. That's why you're. A D V. And at the top of the round, we have Rego. Nope! And he fires an arrow nope. at the red one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, uh, that's like a thousand uh, twenty-six to hit. Nice. God damn. What are you doing? Shooting an arrow at it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get ready to what say that twenty thousand more wait, times. Wait, wait, wait. What does it bitch. look like? Oh yeah. That's oh true. yeah. In like one almost bizarrely fluid motion. Uh, Brago does like kind of like a <laughs> <laughs> exactly like that's how Andre like mimics yes. yeah. Andre's like bunk, bunk, bunk. <laughs> keep going <laughs> I got this he like reaches like one arm behind and grabs the bow and then one arrow and does like a horizontal pull back and fire for a whopping I know nice uh, no, what's my number again plus four uh, plus four <laughs> Are they uh, small or medium creatures? Medium. Okay. For nine piercing damage. Nice. And I don't have multi attack yet, so okay. that's okay. my turn. All right, Quibbin, you are up. Okay. Quibbin, of course, being the bard, is pulling up our combat music. Ding 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 ding. Yep. <laughs> got it. Got it. Until the music starts. Wrong song. Uh, Quiven is just going to go... What's going on? On. <laughs> Quiven is just going to go, oh, I guess we're doing this, and they're going to uh, flip around um, their large wooden structure on their back. Tutar, just call it Tutar. Mm-hmm. They're, and they're going to slide up it and hit just this horribly discordant chord on the, uh, on the, on the guitar. And as they do... You hear this intense <laughs> music start wow. to play. He presses a um, button on it and it starts a beat. It's like a recording. Yes. Um, it's a keytar synthesizer. Yeah. Four, um, three, two. Um, <laughs> bam, 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 bam. Yeah. Um, they say, um... 
It's a lot. It's a lot. It's too much. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh, I'm jamming out right now. This is great. There's only so much you can manage up one die. I know. Basement. <laughs> it's astronomical. Use this to call die. Um, and they will say, they will say, a machine is only as strong as its smallest of cog. I give you power to slay that frog, and he'll give you bardic inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Um, a D six? Uh, um, I'm taking yes. the wooden one. Yes, a D six. A D six. <laughs> um, and then he'll he'll slide down on the on the thing, mm. and within this epic music, he'll just start weaving these these these. these off notes, just purposefully crunchy notes yeah. that are just painful to listen to, but even more so painful oh to this frog as he just hits this just B natural flat diminished the horrid bow, monster bow, 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 bow. with a sharp eleven in there. You know, cast Woo. vicious mockery on the uh, yeah. on, on the frog. Um, so I need a wisdom saving throw from the frog. Okay, great. Nice. Two. Oh, it failed. Yeah. <laughs> on the on the red frog, yes. frog. Yes. Um, and I will. Uh, let's see, let's see. The red frog. Yes. Okay. Uh, cool. The red frog will take. Um, six psychic damage, and it has disadvantage on the next attack roll it makes before the end of its next turn. Okay, great. Is that your turn? Yes. It is the red frog's turn. Come on, red frog! And it's gonna jump. I have a big blue glowing shield if it makes a difference. On Damien. Alright. And it's going to try and just try and bite you. It has disadvantage. Okay. Dead. I'm a gay frog. Seven. <laughs> It'll just <laughs> turn right into the shot. Actually, with like unerring speed for such a large shield, he'll just glance it like right under it and roll it back down Ooh. with with very clearly trained skill for all of you marshals. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, for the sake of this, he's gonna go there, and that's its turn. And Andre, it is your turn. All right, I'm going to punch that. <laughs> I'm going to begin by bonus action flurry of blows. Okay. Okay. So I get two attacks against this guy. On the guy. red frog. I rolled a natural two plus seven for a nine. I will miss. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. so that's after you've made an attack, hit or fail. What? Yeah, you have you have it has attacked. a stipulation. Does yeah. it have, have to be after an attack? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You have to have attacked on your turn at some point. Yeah. Well, then that was my normal attack. Okay, you missed. Here's I mean, my flurry of blows yeah. attack. Yeah. 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 yeah, there you go. Natural drink! Oh. Oh. I don't have whole beverage anymore. This is bullshit. One more, baby. Come on. One more. Natural drink! Oh, oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Two that ones. You I just. I, ah! I would like to use my reaction to regain a party against the Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no way! So. Really so say. I will. I will grab. <laughs> I say. Damien. Perhaps I should have given him the power because when it comes to fighting, you're more like a flower. <laughs> 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 I grab Damien and I point out the frogs and then it jumps out at him and he protects himself and then I go ah and I just punch the stone under the water like three times I'm like this thing's small and I end my turn I end my turn okay uh crash crash Demon head. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna use my movement to get Crash up to that blue frog. <laughs> oh, blue frog. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. After I finish my turn, I'm going to blap, blap, right here. Okay, nice. out in water. water. Yeah, that's Demon's fine. You he asshole. also. Pretty, like, waist high. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. He does not get an attack Actually, of opportunity. It might be higher than that. Okay. Because you I am drunk. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Now he's going to get an attack of opportunity on me. <laughs> Can you move yeah. your boy? I did. He did. No, move uh, him. Crash. Crash up to the blue guy. 
Ah. You can pass through a friendly space. Okay, thank you. Right here? Yeah. yeah, it's about, yeah, it's about like also, chest high. Oh, that's pretty it's high. Chest, it's chest high. High ass water. Yeah. So you see, you see Crash, um, before he moves, he just... But there is like a beam there. ...reaches Sorry. behind his back and pulls over, uh, this silver helm that looks like a horse's helmet. Ooh. And it goes over the top of his head and he straps the chin in. <clears throat> and he runs up and, um... Badass. He just says, uh... Can I see that picture? Oh shit, where, where's the... Which one? Which one? Let me use it. Crash. Okay. Mr. Bandicoot. Can he make a... Uh, uh, it's a cool picture. Yeah. That's cool. He's amethyst. Can he make a... Can he make a dex saving throw? The red? Oh, the blue frog? Yeah. Dex. 17. Ah, oh, fuck. Sorry. What's going on? Quite dexterous. Well, I okay. guess... Uh, and then I'm just gonna bonus action um, make him my hunter's mark. Okay, great. Uh, Damien, that is your What? Turn. Okay, um, with the, the red one in front of me, as I catch it with the shield, I'm going to use my bonus action to shove it to the ground with nice. my shield. So, uh, contested athletics check. Okay. Um, I if rolled, it doesn't give me the stat for that, it's just a strength. strength. Mm-hmm. 18. Uh, 25. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's so um, strong. Little so guy. I will yeah. knock it. I will. I will knock it prone. And as I push it, as I push it down with the shield, I am going to backhandedly draw that elvish blade from behind me and stab it down. Into the <laughs> oh, I like that thing. That's cool. <laughs> and this is an advantage. I don't need it because um, that's a twenty-one to hit. <laughs> and that'll deal. You're such a dick. Oh no, you're not. That'll deal no eight. More. More piercing damage to it. And with that blow, <laughs> it makes that sound and it sinks in the water. Yes. Sure. Very another very like very practiced maneuver. He'll Base. just like sweep under it as it j- jumped at him. He'll push it to the ground and holding it to the ground, he just pulls out and sinks the blade into it and kind of kind of like winces a little bit because it's gross. Mm. It's like ah. T- and, oh, and then he'll spin the spin the blade back, so he's not so he's not holding it backhanded, and he'll start moving up towards so one, two, nice. three, right up next to you. Okay, uh, that's it. Morose, it's your turn. I'm just gonna look at Quivin and say, uh, "Hemocrap," and I'm gonna bite my wrist. And his, uh, <laughs> oh, blood oh, oh, my hand. I'm gonna magic missile. Oh, Whoa. Okay. Oh. okay. Four plus. Horrible. Yeah. Well, five. Very different from Ow. your magic. Three. Five. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. 13, whoa. Force 13 force damage. Force damage. Yeah, he's looking rough. Holy and shit. Yeah. Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> that should, man, I don't have many. Cut my life that into pieces. Cut my frog into, into pieces. <laughs> this is the Did last blue song. frog. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll just... With my other hand that isn't bloody, take Quiven's hand off my arm and uh is the wall I see. Um mm. the wall distinctly um or is it just you rock? would need an athletics check to climb the walls. Is that what you're trying to do? I believe they I might, might not need climbing, an athletics check. Okay. Speed. And I'm just gonna attach myself to the wall and not icy. Okay, you freak. So yeah. Yeah. Okay, you freak. <laughs> <Scuttle> <laughs> Spider <laughs> climb, baby. <Yeah. laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Squidward walking yeah. sound. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you have control, don't you? Just tap over. Oh, you're right. I'm not used to this. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, I guess you can do that, I guess. I don't know how to. I don't know how to. I think you have to trick me up. You can do something like that. I don't have control of me. So whoever has Strahd could spider climb. I'm like, the idea of Strahd, like, like on the walls, like I just, it's so pathetic. Yeah, I like the idea. Yeah. <laughs> I always like the idea of vampires and like dompiers being able to just like walk sideways, like they yeah. went on the yeah. ground. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a weird yeah. like. Yeah, but I'm not doing that because it's shit. funnier. And yeah. I, as I do, I just leave a streak of blood behind me on the rock. Oh, nice. I'm gonna be one more down. Oh, he peed. One more downward. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she doesn't even do like a slick yeah. 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 It's like the crab one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. From fucking hereditary. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll end my turn. Yeah. Like sawing your neck off. Yes, you um, are. Yeah. Blue frog. Blue frog. Bite dragon. Bite dragon. And damn well try. 
I'm just imagining a suction cup into your armor. <laughs> Seven. That's going to miss. Yay. <laughs> that's all I can... <laughs> just... That's all I can uh, do. It fucks uh, up like a frog trying to bite metal. Do the Yoshi sound. Does it have teeth? Does it have teeth? Fox don't have teeth. How? Um, we can fight about this. Oh, you haven't been talking to the right kind of frogs. Anyway, who's next? We're back at the top of the round. I still don't like it! That's 11 to hit. Why is that a frog? It's a beats, it's beats, baby. Oh, bitch! Reroll, bitch. Son of Piercer, bitch. bitch. Oh, yeah. Was that that's one to uh, eight? That's a, yes. It was. Or one to six, I'm one sorry. Six. Okay, However, so with my plus six to hit, that'll be... Or plus six to damage, that'll be a 12, 12 piercing damage. Well, considering I only had seven HP left. Hey! Oh, hey. You, you fucking <laughs> well, pinned it to the wall. <laughs> that's gross. That's gross. That's gross. <laughs> that Those are gross. I don't like them. I need to wash my hands with someone else's blood. I'm not washing my hands in that water. Hey, good shot. Thank you. Thank you. It was good. And I appreciate it. coming now from the end of the cavern, this way, I thought I heard the frogs. You hear some feet coming. Maybe we should have. Um, um, oh, we just killed the frogs. Yeah. And that's where we're going to end tonight's session. Oh, 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 Welcome. This. My new friends, or my, my friends to Bye. a new campaign. This is chapter zero of Call of the Nether Deep. Boy, we got some fuckers oh this campaign. God. Yeah, this damn, is gonna be fuck. good. <laughs> You're in for a rowdy. So, yes, good first session. Do you guys want to discuss any like session zero e? We yeah. kind of did it for Strahd. I didn't know if you guys wanted to do it for this one. Like, I wasn't what here. we're comfortable with. Okay, what we're comfortable <laughs> with. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> But we're comfortable with, we're not comfortable with. Is it like similar stuff? There's obviously different themes in Call of the Nether, Call of the Nether Deep and this first adventure we're running, which which are separate, but they'll hopefully with my DMing skills seamlessly work together. Yes. Um, I have no doubt. But there are it's just certain themes that if you guys don't want to go over, uh, that's fine. So any if there's any concerns, we can talk about them now. You can message me if it's kind of the same as last. Campaign, we can kind of run it that way. Can I keep the calendar? Yes, please. Let's. Do you want to keep it? Keep it, or do you want to like keep pin it, it on our it. wall? Okay. Um, I have some backstory stuff that I forgot to mention to you, so I can tell you okay. about that. But well, I'll you if you want, you can just say it right here in front of all of us. Yeah, you can just yeah, say yeah, it. Right. Right. Just say so it right share with the um, class. Trauma, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's get into it. We could discuss that. Are we still cool with me being the BBG like we all talked about? Yeah. Oh. (laughs) Edgar? Yeah. (laughs) Holy shit, Edgar shows back up in this campaign. (laughs) The big bad Edgar guy. (laughs) Um, Also, in reference to, um, like, Critical Role stuff, I know I kind of mentioned this a little bit here and there. I am just deciding, like, and I know my year probably doesn't match up, like the year I chose, with what they've been doing. But I'm going to, like, you guys have not heard of them. They are not big enough adventurers at this point to make an impact on anybody's like, daily life. I, um, and if that changes in the course of the future, I'll let you know. But as of right now, like, it's they're not related to the course of events. Yeah, There's still a war right. going on, you know. I am going to be binging Critical Role so I can get past where they're at right now. Because I am on campaign two where they are about to go to Isilcross. Hey, oh, yeah. fun. Fun there is some really like fun connections, like her being from Shady Creek. Like, yeah, it's real. Yeah, that's yeah. Yes, I've heard that. I, okay, I mean, so it's real. Shady like, Creek yeah. Run is it's in Caradore, isn't it? No, no. no Shady, it's in, uh, Shady Creek is in. It's, in, it's where Molly died. It's in Eastern. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's Rip right. Rip to a king. That's right. Right there. Rip. Rip. What am I thinking that's of? The What's bag. the place with the I Rip wouldn't know. I don't know. I don't know where you're thinking of. I don't know the right stuff. I've but you, will, you guys will all notice yeah. everybody, even you, Miku, maybe hasn't finished campaign two. Like, this is, it is in the world. Like, sure. things are going to be the same. Characters are going to be the same. Don't make fun of me for not matching accents because mm. I'm. Who stupid. gives a fuck? You're fine. Don't worry. I, I, I am fine with anything that is not the big bad evil guy of the campaign uh, fight being spoiled. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, don't worry. We're not Uh, even in that part of like. I was gonna make a fake spoiler. (laughs) <laughs> I was gonna be like, don't worry, Caleb's yeah. not in this. Yeah, as long as, it's, <laughs> as as long as I don't find out who the very very no. in game big bad guy is from this, I think I'll be fine. No, no, no you're fine. No, I'm just Which I, I I didn't think would have anything to do with it. 
Yeah. My story is It's Elon Musk. It's Elon Musk. It's Elon. This is not even a my comfort level. Well, it is my comfort level. Morose harms herself the same way a blood hunter would to do magic. This no, will yeah. not be a self-harm story, nor do I want to make it any more graphic than fun I, vampire noises to go. <laughs> yeah, I, did, I didn't want to do so, that with Diedrich either. Right. I so I just that. want that to be out there that if that, it, I, no as, one has to disclose any shit, but I don't want that to be a part of her story, so great. As, it, it won't. I'm glad as, you said that. It's not yeah. more Actually, graphic valid, yeah. than the part where uh, Edward bites the fuck out of Bella <laughs> trying to turn her into a vampire. And she's like, oh. She's dead. She's oh! Like, like I thought you meant at the dance studio. <laughs> no, yeah, Man. that's what she's dying. Yeah, she is dying. She is dying. But poor, no, poor Kristen Stewart. Poor any woman who yeah. has to act a role where they're in pain because yeah. it literally just sounds like porn. Porn. Yeah. Anyway, no. great session zero. Yeah. I will Absolute record. banger. Uh, DM, do we level up? Uh, DM. No. <laughs> Are we still playing session zero when we come back? Zero and a half. Like we're continuing this. Yeah. Line, I mean, this will be. This is, this is effectively yeah. session one. <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, right. really? So, yeah. Like, oh. we're starting the story. All right. Yep, this is this is your story. Let's get a team name before number Nope. Eight. That's our challenge. That's frog a challenge. Slayers. We're doing it. <laughs> yeah. Our legacy. The gay frogs. The frog croakers. <laughs> frog croakers. <laughs> our campaign long adventuring name is Croak on it. The hand washers. Croak on I'm calling it right now. We're yeah. a very bad improv group. <laughs> and our name is Croak on it. The half furries. Half probably. I just want to put this back up. Oh, one more. Okay.